I'm going to bring them back. They're all, they've been away a little bit. And I want to have them back now. So let's see what's going on. They've got some weird names. <laughs> Karen put in a choose your elf name. <laughs> so they're coming out with some pretty odd names. But on the video, I don't think it shows their names of their images. I'm Susan Snowdust. Janine is Candy Mary Feet. So we'll get some fun ones. Here they come. Hi, Mike. So did you defect to Canada or uh, are you going to defect from Canada, Alan? I am a from Canada. Oh, look, you've got a new view out of your your um, thing there. Yeah, yeah. The, the guy in the place next door got shivved and I called dibs on it. So it's got a, it's <laughs> got a, a very better view. abrupt transition. They're very good here about that. I do have a view of San Francisco Sometimes Bay. Sometimes they drag you by your feet. Yeah, San Francisco, San Francisco Bay. Bay that you see out the window? Alcatraz. Yeah, are you going to start the, the only people scenario? that would defect from Canada are the criminals? <laughs> yeah, you want to explain so, why you want to defect? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you Maybe we could snow. just trade places with you. I guess. Yeah, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm in a witness protection program. Caspian, it's really strange here today. <laughs> Unlike where, other days, where is Caspian? Really, I don't yeah. think. Oh, there he's is. wearing his house Center square. Oh, we got a we were... Jedi, Jedi robot. Normally, we're not strange, huh, Susan? <laughs> Stranger than normal. I'm not on a desert planet, so I'm not going to wear desert robes. Maybe it's, it's a like... it's a gi. Kind of looks like a gi. What? A gi from Brazilian yeah. jiu-jitsu. Yeah, you're a rock, karate or whatever, jiu-jitsu or whatever. Yeah, karate. Where, you gotta have a colored belt. Ah. Uh, did you get a new camera? Yeah, don't look blurry today. Oh my gosh! Yeah, look at that. No, Ooh. it's the same camera. Camera? Wow! No, and that is what the... He has extra ones. You clean the lens today. You clean the lens. <laughs> <laughs> Took the Vaseline off the lens. Yep. It's possible that it's because I'm not pretending that I'm in a different location from my computer. No, I think it's. Um, oh, yeah. Jamie is there. Hi, Jamie. I'm sorry, I can't move. I have a cat. Oh, uh, totally understand. Name of a team. Name of a team. Yeah, the cat. Cat. I'm making a sudden move. <laughs> yeah, this is too funny. Okay, you that means you cannot go to the bathroom for the next five hours, <laughs> unless the cat does, or longer. <laughs> the cat may have to go. No, yeah, look how clear his screen is. That's amazing. He's no longer applying the classic Star Trek attractive woman. <laughs> <laughs> that only comes on when it's a young woman on the screen or yep. an old one. Hey, hey you know what? They did that for a long time with um God, what was that TV Western show that used to uh oh they, they uh, did it with moonlighting Valley. Valley, yeah. Also <laughs> they Doris did it with Day. Doris Day used to do that. Uh, yeah. Oh bad guys are bad. Yeah, yeah. They they and, and, and a moonlighting and they make like, their eyes glow like they're on the lens or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, Robert Walters interviews. And again. The younger people in this crowd have no idea what we're talking about. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. <laughs> when you yeah, so talk to the bad, everyone bad guys thought Batman, of they're always young crooked. person and you at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so Caspian, whatever you did to your camera, you have to tell uh, Leonard about it. Yeah. So I know what's wrong with mine. I'm just I'm in a reasonably dark room. Reasonably. I'm in a dark room too. It doesn't affect that. Uh, I don't understand why. Yeah, it kind of does, Rob. This we is a very dead. dark room. He's, he's all but so, solitary is a little different kind of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> it, it matches his heart, the darkness of his heart. Hello, darkness, my old Oof. friend. Oof. Here, let me let me let me put a light on on me, and you'll see what it does. Oh. 
Oh, that's scary. You got a beard. Jeez. Yeah, so if, I, if I'm well illuminated, I'm a lot sharper. Okay, that's true. He's sharper. <laughs> I've always thought my, image, my, image, it, my <laughs> image is sharper. So, yeah, so if you were on my team, I'd like you to keep it on you the whole time, but don't, please. Because you're not. <laughs> well, look at Caspian's in the dark now. Look. No, that makes him really dark. Don't the imagine. He's still sharp. That's not blurry. Yeah, it's like he's trying to be anonymous in the documentary. I think the maybe it's the source of the light that's the maybe. I don't know. He's a witness that put Rob away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I pretty, I pretty much where where I'm set up. I have nothing on my face except the focus. light coming from the monitor. So, all the time. So it's. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So we're ready. You've got something ago. coming from your left. Yes, there's a very not high wattage bulb over my left shoulder, like. 10 feet away. Okay, y'all, we're ready? Okay, <laughs> room number one. Carl, Kevin, Romero, Janine, and Mike Wolf, and who knows what your fairy na elf names are. <laughs> I had to go into rooms and look at people were. What's your name of your team tonight? Uh, I'm Candy Maryfoot, representing <laughs> Rudolph's Red Nose Super Spreader event. <laughs> Coming up tomorrow night. Oh. oh yes if that one person has it santa has it every one of the planet's gonna get it well he oh, has all the a red nose all the he should be sure that that red nose is a symptom yeah almost, you're right. almost everyone will get it santa as i said all the christians i corrected myself <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna spread it to you all okay here we go room number two avi kyle jordan ben and vincent the earth team yay <laughs> Somebody's got a little negative image there yeah. tonight. Wow. Such yeah. enthusiasm. I know. I'm scared. Boy, that's going to be a fun one to get into. Okay. okay. Canadian be hard to beat, Oh, that's Alan, Caspian, Peggy, James, and Larry. Ours is Santa is anti Semitic. He won't visit Alan. There we go. <laughs> and he won't he won't spread his COVID to him. So that's good. Uh -huh. Well, that isn't nice. Only Alan would open his heart to Santa. Santa would come. <laughs> well, we figured right. out that Alan doesn't what his get wife said too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Say, that's what she said. That's you a, leave out like um Matha and Mogan David Wine or something for you. <laughs> that's right. Instead of cookies. <laughs> I think if you left out Mogan David Wine, that would keep him away even more. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so room four is Jeff, Julie, Leonard. Robin and Karen. We also have a Christmas themed um, name. It is Jesus Wants Space Telescopes. Tuzzy. <laughs> JWST for Christmas morning. <laughs> Jesus Wants Space Better Telescope. than Jesus. The web telescope will be launched on Jesus' Christmas morning because that's Ooh. what he wants. Ooh. He wants us to be focused on what's really important. Ooh. So thank you, JC. <laughs> You realize if there's a problem, you know, it's going to be blamed on that. We have the tomacity to launch it on his birthday. Bob, Rob. Not my problem. Lori, <laughs> Deborah, and Paula. But wait, but wait, but Jesus wasn't really born on the 25th. Oh, shut yeah, up. He has a April. As well. April he may not have been really born at all. I mean, yeah, exactly. Uh, we should move on from that whole idea. Room five. Which oh. name up? Rob. Well, so we, we took we took a hint from something Paula said last week when her team her team did not do well on one of the rounds. Uh, we are a dearth of nerds. Wait, wait a minute, you're on that team. Yeah, well, <laughs> one out of four. So by years. definition, the name is incorrect. No, is the, still a if I recall, I didn't say it about the team I was on. I think it was the team that Susan was on. <laughs> yeah. No. I don't know my team. Some team was nerd deficient last time. I know that. I was on a full team last week. It was weird. But did it have... but what, uh, what, how well did your team do last time, Susan? We sucked. <laughs> have a lot of nerds. So can you buy nerds at uh, nerd supplements at like Whole Foods or something? <laughs> it was because Rob did a lot of categories that were anti-Susan. Even so though like, like, like Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> but mm -hmm. they were like weird stuff on Wikipedia. That wasn't normal stuff. Oh, well, yeah, like who started it? Stuff. Yeah, like who started it? What year did it start? I got that 
that almost right. Well, I knew the year. It's just when he got into the billions and billions of like that Carl Sagan stuff. All right, so here we are. Um, oh, that's nice. So we are at uh, game number 86, season two, episode 29. On the day, almost the last day of the year, we are at um, December 23rd. Third. Yeah, 2021. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it written down anywhere. So I'm 23, 23. 23 de diciembre 2021. So we are ready to start. We're going to play Rudolph's Red Nose Super Spreader event versus We Are a Team, yay, versus Santa is anti Semitic, he won't visit Alan, versus JWST, better than Jesus, versus a dearth of nerds. And it's so fun looking at your guys' names and, and thinking pretty soon one will be the winner and one will be a loser or one will be the loser. Four of them. <laughs> well, some are more losers than others, but we can. We don't know. Well, it could be a four-way tie for first, and then you know, there's only maybe one loser. maybe could the be. dearth and maybe the one that had the could inmate be. on it will be the bad one, you know? Because I'm hoping for a category in prison systems. Please, somebody do that. <laughs> I'm hoping we're <laughs> that naming teams Trumps in jail. <laughs> okay, so orange soup. Our teams are led by Romero, Kyle, Peggy, Robin, and bonuses Deborah. So I'm ready. If you all are ready, I'm going to make Romero the lead, right roo And James is helping us with our uh, room stuff. Yeah. And I should let you know that there is no sounds on the computer screen letting us know when somebody needs to be put in. So you kind of have to be paying attention. And if somebody leaves and they can't get back in because we're not paying attention, and if you want to um, send me a Facebook messenger, that might be the quickest way. If nobody's noticing, because I, I see the little notice on my phone, I'll put it right here. All right. So, Romero, you you be up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Mute everyone, I guess. James, you, oh, right, James you category, then we'll mute us. Oh, okay. Uh, the category is the James Webb Space Telescope. No. Ooh. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness I'm on Leonard's team. <laughs> 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 and muting now. <laughs> okay, Romero. Romero, you have to Sorry mute about yourself. That. All right. Uh, question one: Who was James Webb? So, just checking. Can we say the guy that they named the telescope after? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting that out of the. I'm just getting that out there right now because I know somebody was going to have to be more specific than that. Oh, okay, all right. Mr. and Mrs. Webb's child. <laughs> James <laughs> Webb's. Mr. And Mrs. James Webb's child. No, no, Number maybe not. Two. Hmm? It's not a junior. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Number two. Development began in 1996. What was the initially planned launch year? Uh, number three, what type of rocket will it be launched on? A, a Delta V Heavy, B, the Falcon Heavy, C, Ariane 5, or D, the Proton M? Number four, uh, NASA is developing the telescope with the help of two other agencies. Name one of the two agencies. Uh, number five, made up of 18 individual mirrors, what is the combined diameter of the James Webb Space Telescope mirror? And this is plus or minus two feet. And number six, uh, Hubble could observe wavelengths from near ultraviolet to near infrared. Uh, JWST will be able to observe from the long wavelength visible light through mid infrared. What is the benefit of being able to observe longer wavelength light? And that's specifically, you know, for this telescope, like why is that a, a good thing? 
uh, let's see, seven, to see in the infrared, JWST has to operate around 50 Kelvin. Uh, that's negative 223 Celsius for Canadians. There are five heat shields less than uh, 0.05 millimeters thick. What are they made of? Eight, where in space will JSWT operate? Nine, what is the benefit of putting JWST at this location? And 10, what is the expected lifetime of the telescope? Plus or, uh, plus or minus two years. And that's it. Any questions? Okay, go to your rooms. Really looking forward to knowing the answers of these because <laughs> it looks interesting, but I don't know any of them. So sorry, team, I'm on. This is tough. Well, I hope there's somebody here who knows these things because I sure as heck don't. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> Good job. These are nice questions. Wish Jeez, I had Romero, I wish you were on our team for this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's the who knows these things? Janine's coming in, right? She's gonna know these. <laughs> yeah. Janine, where are you? Nini Nini. Here she comes, Candy Mary Fest. We're waiting for you because we didn't want to show off by knowing all the answers. We've been talking about them, but we were waiting for you to get here to double check. So if you could go through- I the had to rescue my dog. Oh, well, that's okay. Walk past the other dog, so. So go I ahead and give us all the answers and we'll check to see if they match the ones we already have, right guys? I'm not an astronomer. <laughs> Jeez. Some sort of NASA Who was James Webb? Did he invent the internet? He was a NASA administrator. You don't think he was like the guy who invented the internet, the world? The guy from 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 the TV show Dragnet. Sorry, that was Al Gore, Susan. He's the W in the World Wide Web. Do you know Jack that Webb? Right? Wasn't Jack Webb on on Dragnet? Mike, what? Did you know that to be sure that he's an administrator at NASA? I heard. I think. I think heard that's that on the so he is a former former NASA administrator. That's what I said. He just he knows all these, doesn't he? No, I don't know all of them. Okay, so they're former NASA administrator. Okay, there you go. That's Wow, it must have been a while back. How long does it take to develop these things? <laughs> like 2005 or something? Who... Who's in charge here? <laughs> Just a guess. Uh, you are. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. What type of rocket was it launched on? Or will it be launched on? I think it's will an Ariane 5. Your guess is better than mine. What year did they plan to launch it? If it's launching this year, there's probably yeah. a um, several, many delays, many delays. So you're not saying that it's... Um, He didn't give us any tolerance on that plus or minus, did he? No. no. It's nuts. I assume it's a, you've got a one in 25 chance. Um, <laughs> well, it's going to be pre COVID, so that narrows it down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like I, I think it was in the neighborhood of a 10 years after development began, but I don't know precisely whether it's 
I was thinking I heard 2005. I don't, I keep, I'm happy with that. I keep well, thinking well, there what was do they a say? Five, what do they say in Star Wars? It's five year mission to boldly go where no man is. That's not Star Wars, it's for trash. Star Trek. Oops, oops, the geeks are going to be mad at me. <laughs> I knew that one. That's it. So, okay, so maybe, maybe 2015. I just have a five at the end of, I'm, um, but I may be totally, I may be totally off. Can anybody guess this for three? For three, we said C. Okay, four. Yeah. Carl knew C. Number four. ESA. The TSA. ESA, European Space Agency. Oh no, that makes sense. Okay. Any idea what the other one would be? Um, might be Canadian. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> okay, maybe. Hey. God, okay, for five, they said it, that on the radio, they said it was the size of a tennis court. I think it's 21 feet. That sounds about right. I saw a picture of it, and it looks like that sounds about right. And it's quarter as well. Yeah, I think it's 21 okay. feet. The combined diameters of 18, only 21 feet? Yes. Yeah. But, okay. But if they have to shoot it up in the space, it can't be that big. Yeah. Those, uh... well, they unfold it when it gets up there. Oh, oh interesting. It's not, but... like from, it's not like one of those, like... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. The individual mirrors, what's the combined diameter? Yeah, I don't... Of the mirror. Yeah. 21 feet. Okay. okay, 21 feet. I'm good with that. Um, Hubble could observe wavelengths from near ultraviolet to near infrared. We'll be able to observe long wavelength physical visible. What is the benefit of being able to observe longer wavelengths? Able to see further away, further back in time. Yeah. I went and got that dog, and now he's barking again. He doesn't like our answer. <laughs> he's trying to read that book that was from the guy that wrote The Martian. The, uh... Did you read it? Yeah. Can, uh, can you say anything without giving anything away to the other people who haven't seen it or read it? I didn't read The Martian. I just saw the movie. The book is really terrific. It really is. Did you like Project Hail Mary? Yeah, it was fine. I mean, I got to the end of it, so that means I haven't read it yet. So no hints, no, yeah, no it's, it's an easy to blow. Don't give anything away. I had a dream about it the other day, and I had a nightmare, and I was just I woke up and I was so upset about the answer, and it was gonna it was dealing with my cats, and that has nothing to do with it, nothing to do with it at all. But I was just whatever reason I gotten it to make worry about my cats and i just couldn't sleep for a long time it was it's a thought-provoking book trust me there's nothing to do with cats in that book, hmm? i don't think there's a cat in the book i don't right. think a cat right. are we are we side okay, railing number you? nine i think the benefit of being where they put it is that it's cold it yeah it's, because it's, the telescope needs to operate cold yeah, so it, nine is keeps it cold. Yeah, minimizes infrared interference. And you could also additionally say that being, uh, did we actually answer eight yet? We didn't answer no. seven or eight. Seven. Okay. That the, the, the advantage of being in a Lagrange point is also that it requires minimum amount of uh, propellant to maintain that position. Oh, that's and relatively that's stable. Great. They're not using um, solar? It, it's going to be in an L2 Lagrange point. I don't know what that means. Yeah, uh, well, go look up Lagrange okay. point. Number it. 10, the expected lifetime, I think, is 10 years. It's a 10 year mission, yeah. 10 year. Mm -hmm. That's easy top song. Okay, seven and eight. We need two, seven, and eight. Eight, eight is the L2 Lagrange point. Okay. What is that? L2 what? L2 Lagrange point. L A G R 
A N G E. Isn't that a ZZ Top song? No. Album. What? What seven? It 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 is it is a a position in orbit around the sun beyond the Earth where the uh, gravitational pull of the sun and the Earth are essentially equal and in equilibrium on it. Romero, is everybody almost done? I think uh, some people are around number seven right now, question seven. I think okay. we're on seven. The one. We um, skipped around. We're about on seven if we count what we So we did eight, missed. nine, and 10 already. Yeah. We only have seven I, left. We haven't done seven and two. I thought we did two. I thought we, someone said 2005. I just made that number up, guys. Come on. You said you thought, I thought you said you heard it. But I don't remember numbers at all. Oh, okay. Like I can never remember numbers. I was oh. thinking like. So like 10 years, like 2006. Like, yeah, 2006 or 2007. Okay. Which one you picked? Let's go with 2007. Okay. <clears throat> Boom. So I think even scientists fall into the trap of round numbers they like have like a 10 year plan so number seven is what are the shields made of what that's the very very of? thin 0.05 I, I millimeters don't. I, I do not actually know that one that's very thin it's ridiculously thin yeah it's not ripstop nylon <laughs> I'm not sure what it's made of. Yeah, I, I've got no idea on seven. What would be a good um, type of material to insulate? And probably oh. metal. Could be like a thin foil, like an aluminum foil. It has type to be of light. Foil. Like aluminum. A shield, not necessarily an insulator, but a shield. Gold, mm. copper. Gold, gold is very malleable. That would be interesting. Well, they have to unfold these things. Gold would be really heavy. Um, it's probably some sort of coated polymer something similar to mylar it has to be some kind of polymer how about yeah, something a mylar? similar to mylar it's a shield. yeah but i don't think it's mylar i just mean something similar to I that don't... that you've got a flexible polymer with some sort of metal coating it has to be shielding right gold would not be good because it would transmit heat well it would like light you're not getting heat from I remember all the pictures of uh, the Luna Lander stuff like that would have this gold foil type stuff on it. I think going with yeah. gold is bad. Who's providing music? Okay. Mike is giving us background music. 0.05 millimeters is around two thousandths of an inch. Very, very thin. Very thin. That's like thinner than aluminum foil. Yeah. Foil, foil. You ready to song? Okay, almost everybody's back. Okay. Okay, we need an answer for the for seven. I like gold. He's playing Lagrange. That's what he's playing. I told you. Anybody else have something other than gold? No. I'm shocked you're going with my answer. <laughs> I'm not saying I think it's right. I just don't have an alternative. You don't want to do aluminum foil or mylar? Neither one. It's made of it's made of Used Gold tires. Leaf. Recycle tires. Okay, I think we're done. 
You guys ready? Okay. Made of recycled yep. bottles. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the room. Everyone's done, so I'm gonna close all the rooms. Uh, okay. Wait till here. you come. Leave this room first. <clears throat> then close them. Then close them when you're out. Otherwise, it'll just close. Okay. I'm going back to the. Yeah. Ride with Susan and I think it was Joe Nickel, and mm -hmm. we turn around a corner and go, "Oh look, there's a UFO over Rainier." Giant. I remember the first time I realized that Rainier was spelled Rainier, and I was like, oh, okay. What'd you think it was spelled like? I don't know. In my head, it was like, it's not pronounced that way. Well, you would think that the, last, that it would, the last syllable would be N-E-E-R. Yeah, it's like most people say it in, in two syllables, but the, but the adjective would be three syllables. <clears throat> I always so like, remember yeah. Hi, Susan. Hi, Isabella. Uh, You're back um, home, huh? Yeah, I'm making, I'm making apple pie right now, actually. <laughs> Is there enough for everybody? I mean, I'm just kind of like stewing the apples right now. Americans <laughs> first, it's apple pie. I, I think our team gets <laughs> bonus points for apple pie. What did Kyle say? Something what? America first, apple pie. America first. Americans first. the sharing. First. Maga pie. Mm. Oh. No, just Napa. Make apple pie again. <laughs> <laughs> Make apple pie again. <laughs> now that's a cause I can get behind. All right, are we back? They look like they're all back. Okay, so some of us uh, are. Should we mute us and then James, you want to do that and let Romero give the answers? Okay. Hard category, but we probably did better. All right, sounds good. All right, uh, who is James Webb? Uh, he's the, the second director of NASA and the director, director during the Apollo program, 1961 to 1968. Is it not called administrator? It's administrator, not director. Or, Thank you. Sorry, administrator. So if, yeah, if you just put, uh, you know, like the administrator at NASA, that'll be fine. And he ran the Hubble program or what did you say? Apollo? Uh, uh, he oh. was there during the Apollo program, 1961 to 1968. During the beginning of the Apollo program. Mm -hmm. You'll notice that 1968 yeah. is before the first landing in 1969. If they landed. <laughs> <laughs> or the first fake um, landing. That's why we have, he's in jail. <laughs> Rob, Robert Palmer. It was the first Photoshop. Robert. Number two, development began in 1996, uh, and it was initially planned to be launched in 2007 uh, with a proposed budget of a, around 500 million. And right now it's up to around 10 billion. 10 billion? Yeah. Was that plus or minus three? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was exact. Oh, wow. Oh, 2007. Okay. And we can't get build back better, oh. huh? Is that the longest <laughs> delay of any program ever? Like not, not even close. Damn. I sincerely doubt that. Ridiculous. Yeah, you probably don't uh, even know about the projects that have already, that haven't been launched. Yeah. What type of rocket will be launched on uh, is C, the Ariane 5. Yay. Very good, Paula. I knew something. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, number four, um, so what other agencies are they getting help from? The European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. There you go. Canada. Canada. What, what, what are the hell are they doing? <laughs> they, oh, they're putting an arm on it because that's what they do for the shuttles. <laughs> they, 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 they got to stick an arm they, on everything. That's right. <laughs> their Air Force yeah, is a fire spirit. To, uh, to take the blame. Trouble yeah. and the ISS have kind of arms. Gotta have somebody to blame. Yeah, that's good. So, so they added, I think, uh, like some sort of tool to block out light to be able to see uh, planets around stars. So they have some back like bacon that. and then syrup. <laughs> uh, I should make fun. That There's too many Canadians. Not that imitation stuff from Australia. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. Yeah, you're we taking your Canadian viewership. 
We yeah. love Canadians. Even Their the version of Calgary. NASA is a flying squirrel. Where's Wilma? She's a Canadian too. All right, number five, what's the combined diameter? The answer is uh, 21 feet. Oh, all right. So is it more if, you, if you oh. get anything from 19 to 23 feet, then oh, it's missed it by Bruce. that much. Bruce. Well, Bruce, you should have lied. I remembered it was 19, not 18. <laughs> uh, does 80 feet count? <laughs> no. Yeah. It oh, holy moly. <laughs> Only if you're very bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's arithmetic, not math. Wait, did Avi get his math wrong? It might be both. We, we just math. didn't have any idea, so. Confusing the James Webb with the Death Star Super Laser. Janine mm -hmm. said she heard it was the uh, size of a uh, tennis court. The heat shield is the size of a tennis court, not the mirror. Oh, I don't know. OK. That's okay. Uh, that's where I screwed up on. I'm sorry, my team. All right, number six. Uh, so why um, why the longer wavelengths? So there's uh, multiple possible answers. So if you get any of these, uh, you can get the point. So uh, one possible answer is the high red redshift objects. So objects that are really far away from here that are uh, moving really fast from us. And so because of that, they're red, red shifted. Uh, so we'll be able to see like the first stars in the first galaxies. Ooh. Um, another possibility is cold objects such as debris, disks, or uh, planets. Did you uh, say another close objects? Is that what you said? Cold objects. Cold, like, cold like, objects. Like, oh. Yeah, so they're reflecting heat from their star maybe or something like that. And then another possibility is that our atmosphere blocks most of the light around these wavelengths. So it's, you know, it's good to be able to see that light. Uh, or the well, only, that's a the reason only way that, that you can- That's uh -huh. a reason that a space telescope, that you need a space telescope to see them, uh, to right. see infrared. Yeah. It's not a reason that infrared is useful. That's right, yeah. So, um, so is, is a synthesis of that correct? That we can see objects that are further away than we can now? We don't know yet. We'll find out. Go ahead, Romero. Yeah. So, is that? Are you asking for a point? Uh, like, uh, yeah, I'm wondering if that, if that, because yeah, you were talking about see dimmer objects, and that would be because they're further away. What was what was our answer, team? Yeah, that's a borderline. I think. Uh, <laughs> no, that's just wrong. <laughs> yeah. How the about size, the size of the mirror is what lets you see dimmer objects? How about further back yeah. in time? Further back in time yes, is further correct. Back in time would be, yeah. Wait, wait. So is that Sorry, not equivalent to further that's away? Is, yeah. That's wait. That would it be a directly equivalent to further away? We, further we, back in time. But if the things, said, if the things further away are bright, and there's good reason to think they are, uh, then they aren't dimmer. We, we did say in our discussions to look for older yeah. stuff. Does it allow you to to better see the cosmic background radiation? <laughs> nope. No. Has no effect whatsoever. Yeah, so the, the CMB is further away than these objects. So I well, guess, and it's, yeah, and it's I not would... infrared. Yeah, it's microwave. Yeah. So the, the three reasons that infrared is, is good is uh, as you go further back in time, the objects that Hubble sees in the visible will be in the infrared if they're further away. So if, uh, if earlier objects than what Hubble sees exist, then JWST will be able to see them, but we don't know if they do or not. The second is dust hides a lot of details of um, astronomical objects. Uh, stars, for example, are born inside of dust clouds and infrared is trans, uh, dust is transparent infrared. So you can see through oh, it. We wrote, we wrote to see further uh, because there's less uh, uh, energy absorbed by space dust. Mm -hmm. And then the third is that sounds like a point. if you're doing um, spectroscopy, <laughs> I think that's a point. if you're looking I, for, I agree, <laughs> for different uh, molecules, a lot of molecules have uh, lots of absorption in the infrared. So you need to have an infrared telescope to see it. Yeah, okay. All right, so next. Can, so can they use Hubble telescope to look ahead to make sure that the uh, the launch was successful before they before they send it up? What? 
<laughs> what? Short answer? Objects in what? the mirror are closed. That was so wrong, it's wrong, just not wrong. I no, never know what that meant. No, uh, it sees further back in time. Back in time. Back in time, that's right. Not yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> McFly, can we see McFly? <laughs> If but, guess, funny, we're, but funny, but funny Canadian detector. Yeah. All right, so uh, number seven, uh, the the material is captain, and that's what a lot of uh, like. Uh, what word are you saying, captain? Captain. captain? captain, yeah. Captain, captain Crunch, specifically. K A P T O N. Captain Crunch. Oh, no, captain. <laughs> no, I've never heard of that. Oh. It's I been did. used in space flight since we, before Apollo. My, my recollection, we use mylar for this reason. So Capton is aluminized a, mylar. What? Capton is a, is, a, is a special case of a special type of Oh, mylar. OK, so mylar. Sub, mylar oh, sorry, super set. Mylar. If, if Capton is mylar, then that sounds like is, we got that Is right. Capton also aluminum? Capton no. races five miles no. long, doodah. <laughs> no, it's, it's Capton. That's what everyone says. That's what you'll find if you look it up. I'm glad but James it's, it's got it's on. But would my, <laughs> Not mylar, mylar be acceptable? No, but wait a minute. It is a type of mylar. We used to use to call them mylar blankets. He's in jail. Just ignore Ramiro him. Ramiro gets to decide. Yes. 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 Up to Ramiro. I, I uh, vote for the Captain answer is Captain. Captain. Yeah, I would say Captain because mylar is uh, like two, maybe two Use it for balloons. It's too vague. Yeah, yeah two days. <laughs> I don't want him to have the point. Go ahead. Uh, number, <laughs> number eight. No. Uh, we're in space. We'll Sorry. All right. We're in space. Will the telescope be? So, Way up there. Uh, it'll be at the L2 Lagrange point. Yes. Good job. Uh, are, are you going to not give me a point if I just said Lagrange point? Correct, you would right. not get a point for that. Oh, come on. Seriously, there are, there are, there are a lot of Lagrange points. There are five Lagrange points. There are five Lagrange points, five Lagrange points. Five Lagrange points. Five Lagrange points. Lagrange yeah, points and only L2 is appropriate. Right. Right. Come on. Hey. Oh, oh my God. Can you give us a point if we said Lagrange points? It's only slightly it's less ambiguous than saying in orbit. Oh my God. Uh, it's a lot less ambiguous than saying in orbit. It's not going around the Earth like any Earth over here. Lagrange. <laughs> it's, it's Ramiro's exactly. category. It's up to him. So, how many people put a uh, Lagrange point? Or put L2. The L2. I put L2. We put L2. We put L2. Our team did too. We put L2. We yeah, put I would L2 say uh, maybe like no point. <laughs> Right. No point. Just to be no specific. point if they said L two. Okay. No. No point. If yeah, I heard that. Point. <laughs> no. No point if you left out the two. No yeah, point for ZZ L2 top. Is important. Uh, oh. What is the benefit of putting it at this location? So it's actually interesting because, so this point is further away than the moon. So it's uh, and so it's basically orbiting the sun instead of orbiting the Earth. But uh, the, the reason is that the sun, yeah. the earth, and the moon are in the same direction. And so the, the telescope can just be pointed um, or can be shielded from the, from the sun, the earth, and the moon um, because it has to be kept really cold. And so if you put anything that is just to shield it uh, from the earth, the moon, and the sun, I think that's one that, that would be the ma main answer, main accepted answer. That's what we put. So we so focus the, the, more on keeping it cold. Yeah. Would that be minimizing infrared interference? So the advantage of L2, as opposed to any other place where you could have the same effect, is it's the only spot that is an is always at the same distance from Earth. So if you go into a solar orbit slightly further out than Earth, then you have the advantage <clears throat> that you don't have to worry about. Uh, the light from the sun, the moon, or the earth. But as you drift away from earth, you get less and less data. By putting it at the Lagrange point, it stays a million miles from earth. And that's a huge advantage. So you're going to say no to this again, but we put a more stable location because it doesn't, it's, it's more uh, less likely to need correction. Well, it is in fact a dynamically unstable location, and it is constantly um, firing its rockets to 
uh, stay in orbit. What so kind of propellant is it bringing to do this? That seems counter. I believe That's it's right. hydrazine. I believe okay, it's so a, the answer uh, is, so is that is that why the lifetime cold. is so short? Yeah, is the answer because it's cold? No. Well, to keep it to keep it cold. Uh, well, to to be able to shield it from the sun, the earth, and the moon. Yeah. And to do so in um, at a constant distance. Right. Yeah. Why so we were a little ambiguous on that. We said <laughs> less interference keeps it cold. Less. Well, we said to minimize infrared interference. Why oh, okay. Does, why, does okay. It need to, why does it need to be so cold? Because that's what infrared radiation is. <laughs> you know, Rob gets discouraged. As soon as he gets out, he's going to reoffend. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, Rob's so never getting out. Rob's never getting out. Five year sentence. Long time good good behavior, three. Yeah, but. Looking at your behavior, you're going to stay there a lot longer. Yeah, <laughs> he'll get he'll get. What, what Trump, are you saying? What Trump to pardon him? Alan, a similar reason to why you look at the sky with a telescope at night instead of day. <laughs> Trump's going to be back in three years, and he and JFK Jr. are going to pardon me. You'll see. Number Is 10. everybody figuring uh, that out? What he's talking about? Okay, if not, we'll, we'll talk about it. Go ahead. Did we get ours? Yeah. What is it? Blossom. I think. All right. Num number number ten. What is the expected lifetime? Is uh, ten years, and this is due <gasps> because it needs it needs fuel to keep in to stay in the L two uh, Lagrange point. So if you get anywhere between eight to twelve years, now that'll, that'll be uh, the correct answer. Yay! We said ten. Good job, so team. That's all, that's all dependent thank on you, how Karen. much. Uh, yeah, well, thank you, you, Karen. Yep. Everybody heard the same uh, radio broadcast. <laughs> Good job. Good questions. Now I have a lot more information. I will be able to make intelligent discussion with people at the grocery store or something. <laughs> I have a lot more. Yeah, did you hear about the things we have? Do we, Ramiro, do you have a, a list of the answers to put in chat? It's nice to have that if possible. Let me, yeah, let me put him up. Um. <clears throat> okay, so we're getting ready for our scores. You ready? Rudolph's Red Nose Super Spreader event. How many points? I think nine. We had nine, nine. If if our number, yeah, and that was Romero's team. So damn, and the team I was on. Just letting you know. Nine. Just letting you know. Yay. We are a team. Yay. Who's in Nine is our ring? What's that? Okay. Two. Nine. Uh -huh. What did you what? guys say about we are a team? Yay. Two. Two. Yeah, that's how you was raised. Okay. Santa's anti Semitic. We got six. Because he won't build this Alan. <clears throat> uh, better than Jesus. Nine. This is just really funny. Um, a dearth of nerds. Uh, four, I believe. Oh man, the nerds got four. Dearth of nerds. A dearth of nerds. What's they that? They lack nerds. Oh, lack we got three that were like we should have. Yeah, I think we were robbed. But go ahead. I, <laughs> we were I don't robbed. Know if we that up right. Robbed. Were you robbed? The prison. The prison. The prison needs a better library, Rob. Did we get, did we get Mylar? Or no, no, they wouldn't give it to us, even though nope. ca uh, the Captain is a Mylar. So is, is no. did we get three points or four points? Four. Four. Go no, right we would have gotten like three more. Wow, you got a nice spread on there. That's that's interesting. Nine to two. What's nice care? about it? <laughs> can you share the screen? That's what team you're on. Hmm? Exactly. Susan, can you share your screen of, of the scores? Gotcha. Yeah, but 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 wait a minute. Uh, C is not correct. I don't know if anyone else put that on six, as Leonard pointed out. I don't know if anyone put C on six, but that's not right. Can you see that? Yay! Our team is in last place. Yay! So so <laughs> did I, did anybody? Now I'm being picky because we got robbed of I think three points. Did anybody put C on six as a point that they got? Because that's not correct. C, what's C? According to Leonard. For, for six. There's no C. Yes, there is. Yes, Our there atmosphere is. blocks most of the light was one of the answers, which is not correct. 
Where do you get the letter C? Oh my yeah. God. Six A, B, and C. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah, number six is worded like C is worded wrong. Is uh, so if you got like I don't think anybody got could see that did you like well what I never heard it in the discussion that, uh, like the reason that jwt uh observes in the infrared is because the atmosphere blocks most of the of the infrared light did anyone put that for number oh two? i see what you're doing redshift objects <laughs> salut So Rob, people's confusion was because the answers were not offered to us as ABC. Ramiro listed them that way in the responses, just for clarity that there were different possible yes. answers. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just looking at. We lost me too. <laughs> oh, yeah, know. that's it's why in we in the were chat. Lost. Does people don't have the chat open? So six C. I'm just saying shouldn't Got even it. be there because as Liner pointed out, and I knew that's not correct. Got it. So I'm just wondering if any team got a point because they put that answer. Not our team. Okay. Maybe your team. No. <laughs> You're should, there be a, should there be a little note on the mirror that says, caution objects in the mirror? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> older than they appear. <laughs> mm, very good. Very good, Robin. She's clever. She's, a, she's an attorney. Okay, good job, Romero. You got a good spread there. That's Yay, great. Ramiro. I really well, like it when it's like that. Whenever we've got a- timely and very timely. Yes. I've got to find somebody. I'm going to go randomly walking around and talk to people about this. Oh, dear. I can see where that's going to go. <laughs> Good job, Romero. Susan, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch the, the news, the local news. Yeah. You want us to bail you out? Yeah, well, yeah, and, Rob, and number, Rob's number two um, is just wrong. Uh, development did not begin in 1996. Uh, development began uh, at least a decade earlier than that. Oh, that wouldn't have helped. But the answer's still the same. Yeah. No. What? No, because the uh, the initial the initial launch was uh, was before that. Uh, but whatever, I, I don't know. Well, this is according to Wikipedia, so if it's yeah, wrong, you know, you can't trust that. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, if, if you if someone has a source for a different answer on Wikipedia, you all know how to fix that. Yeah, especially if it's somebody know. on the DSW team. So, so Leonard, when was the initial launch planned then? Um, I'm having trouble finding it. But it was before um, 2007? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, it so doesn't, the, help, doesn't help us. We were after that. So the development of, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, development of the mission concept began in September 89. Wow. Okay, I've given Kyle oh, the, the co-host permission. So we're ready to start on our next topic as long as it is not on space telescopes. Please tell me it's not on space telescopes. No, it is not. Oh, it is God. on uh, audio it. recording. Oh, yeah. audio recording. Okay, mm -hmm. that's different. So okay. we're going to start a little historical. What is the year of the earliest known audio recording? Okay, I'm going to mute in, mute in uh, three, two, one. You. And we'll do plus or minus five years on this. Um, there's a lot of ways you could look at this question. I'll add another clue. It wasn't until 2008 that people uh, digitally were able to recover the recording, but it was recorded in a, a year somewhat in the past. Question number two, a follow-up. In what country was the earliest known audio recording that survived recorded? All right, moving on to a more prominent technology. In 1925, 78.26 RPMs, the S should not be capitalized, was chosen as the standard for phonographs, another typo there, I'll get it fixed. Uh, 78 RPM, a good choice. And I'll give you a couple little options here. Let me correct the question. So there's the corrected question. Here are four possible reasons you can get into on your own. All right, moving forward into CDs. We'll get back to tapes. CDs can contain 74 minutes of audio data. Why is it that specific length? Related, uh, CDs sample the audio signal at blank times per second measured in Hertz 
What is that plus or minus 100? A similar number of baud's uh, might come to mind. All right, another piece of technology. This type of synthesizer bears its owner's last name and was popularized by artists like Wendy Carlos's Switched on Bach or and Wendy's album Switched on Bach. What is this type of synthesizer? And number seven, the National Audio Company in Missouri, or Missouri, I guess, the largest of a few remaining manufacturers of audio cassettes, the typical, you know, old tape decks that a lot of cars had. Uh, they're one of the last known people doing that in the U.S., and it's reported that they had produced more than 10 million tapes in 2014, and those sales were up 20% the following year. This is their best year since they opened in 1969. What singular event drove the mass sales of cassette tapes for them? Number eight, what does DAT stand for? Number nine, since the human, hear, human ears hearing range is roughly 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, a sampling rate of around 40,000 hertz is more than sufficient to perfectly fool the human ear that a digital signal is not in fact analog. This is due to a specific theorem, name that theorem. And last but not least, in the year 2000, the RIAA reported approximately 2.5 million units of vinyl LPs were sold. How many do they report were sold in the year 2020? Uh, plus or minus? Plus or minus, good question. Let's say plus or minus 200,000. Okay. And there you have it. 10 questions about audio recording equipment and history. Any other questions? Interesting. And go to your rooms. 200,000 you said, right? Plus or minus? Correct. Yes. Okay, good, good questions. This looks very different. Okay, I'm going to room two. I'll see you guys later. Hi team. These are hard Hi, questions. Holy I know moly. the first. I know the first one. Oh good. I know. I know six. Really? The year seven of Richard. I think he would probably do good at this category. Okay, so what, what do we say? The earliest known audio recording is I think it was 1860 something. 1860. That right. And then it was in France. So what, what do we want to put for the last digit? 1860? Just do 1860. Okay. Because I know it was the early 1860s. Okay. Okay. That will cover the first half of the six, 1860s. So, and you said France, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, why was 78.26 RPMs chosen? No, no, no. Why was it chosen? Oh yeah, I was a you know, I he had a multiple typos in there. There was a reason I've heard this. Um, I just copy and paste, so that's. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I heard it. I don't remember. No, it. I, I I know I've heard the reason. And did it have something to do with the grooves? The could be. I can't remember now. If somebody said it, I'd probably know. But I, I do yeah. remember hearing why it was there and why the 45. Yeah. Well, we'll come back to that one. Uh, CDs can contain 74 minutes of audio data. Why that specific length? Because that's how big the CD is. <laughs> um, I'm not sure on that specific length, but I mean, I don't know if they can fit any more than that anyway, because I mean, it's, I think you're pretty much using up all the writable data area on the CD. I don't know. That works. 
So put using it, that's just, uh, that's how much, like, cause I, I guess maybe you could say something like if you convert the storage capacity of, of um, a CD in, in like bytes or whatever, and then, okay, how much is that in, um, uh, how, how big of an MP3 file can you make on there? Right, well, you can store way more MP3s on a CD than you can if it's an actual music CD. Oh. Yeah, we're not talking MP3s. We're talking standard, like, audio CD. MP3s, you can put potentially thousands, depending upon, you know, the the bit rate of the MP3 and, and all that. So you, you can fit way more than 74 minutes of MP3s on a CD. Then I have no, then it couldn't be the data. Yeah, we're talking actual, like, you know, going out and buying, you know, Mariah Carey's album or something from, you know, Best Buy or something like that. Well, you can in that case, then it, it's, four minutes. then it couldn't be limited by, I guess, probably because the quality yeah. of the data. Right. So it's not just MP3, it's like it's the high quality medium. Then. Plus or minus 100 hertz. We have something there already. Yeah, well, 44, I think it's 44 kilohertz, though. So then 44,000. Yeah, but that's that I'm being thrown off by the plus or minus 100 because that's not really going to make a difference. Let's put 44,000 for now. Yeah. This number six is Moog. M O O G. Oh, yeah. Hey. I knew one. Wow. Hey. And this is recorded. I'm so happy. <laughs> um. Okay. Um, national audio. Okay. So they want to know why the best year in 2014. Wait, wait. National company. Wasn't it because of a national anthem that was like national anthem? Why? So it's why for 2014, not why for 1969, right? Yeah, it's the it the they sold the most ever in 2014. That's, Ever since they opened. Wow. But that's cassette tape. That's yeah, like I have no idea why anyone would even buy a cassette tape. And that sales be were at weird. 20% the following year. What happened in 2014, you guys? Because, like, you know, like AOL ended up being the 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 largest. Wait, wait it was because there was like a trend. There was like it was like edgy to have cassette tapes because it became like kind of cool why though like is there, was there a car that came out with a cassette tape player that was unusual uh, like a test i just remember it was like kind of cool to have cassette tapes i don't really know why it was like a yeah, thing i know that is order. not remotely Let's helpful yeah. <laughs> looking for a singular event well like i said if if a car came out to be trendy you know like like some kind of car said some cool car like is it why like would that but again why would that make make their largest amount of sales then because like you're feeling it was like some celebrity thing but i don't know what did the car ga dash in suddenly use uh um, how would it be for that's really did interesting kanye come did like did like kanye come oh, out God, with no. a uh, a uh a cassette version of his thing could somebody have released only on, really Yeah, could somebody have only released on cassette? Like they said, I'm gonna make this song and it's only gonna be on cassette. Like let me think. I honestly what if it was a Beatles thing. Do they lot no, it just doesn't make sense. Um, 2014. I can't even remember what happened in 2014. Well, nothing that important. It was still working. I just had chemo. 
<laughs> you just uh, said ketosis. I, well, I'm trying to remember what was going on in my life in 2014. I was growing my hair back. I went to Britain. Could someone repost the questions in the chat? By any chance? Oh, I mean, they're are on you the not table. able to see the? No, because I'm on my there. iPad. You, you, I mean, you can't see what he's sharing. No, I can't. I'm like trying to fiddle with the settings on here. I normally don't use my iPad. I'm if you swipe to one direction, you, yeah. If you swipe oh, one direction, you see it. Yeah, see it. there you I go. See it now. Okay, so. Uh, Sorry, I'm just putting stuff down. What I don't know if it's correct, but I'm just writing stuff down to see if it looks correct to me. I just thought that was just an extension that people use when they wanted to make a data file. Data access. It could be data or direct. I'm trying to remember. Now, like a DAT is a specific type of like tape. Um, some two minutes. I would guess it was some sharing due to Shannon, but I'm not entirely sure. Direct access transmission. That makes more sense. Is that transmission instead of tape? Based on something, or are you just making a guess, Vincent? Uh, a guess. I from something I read. Um. There. For nine, I would guess Shannon's theorem, but this is just because I know that Shannon was one of the pioneers of uh, information theory, and um, he he did this um, like then that's what allows us to do um, audio stuff. No direct access transmission, or did what did you say, Vincent? Direct access transmission, I okay. believe that's what I said. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was a shorter word. No. Um, oh, I'm sure that I'm sure it's on question 10, it's way more. I'm seeing them all over the place now. Oh, yeah. Vinyl is, is taking a big uptick. It's a, you know, a collector's thing now. Vinyl's like the new thing, like every artist releases. Yep. on vinyl now i mean when you have an end cap in in uh, target you know that you know lp <laughs> are becoming big anybody want to take a stab at a guess on on what that number might be he gave us a plus or minus of two hundred thousand. did he really yep did he yeah. do that after the fact because it's not yeah. yeah he did oh okay i may have missed that i just copied and pasted <laughs> okay, he, he just spoke it. Two point five million and two hundred thousand. So two hundred uh, twenty two point seven million. You think? No, it'd be way that more was than a that. Random guess. I bet you it's more like five something million. I bet five you point, double that. Five point five million. Five point two five million. Okay. Five point six five nine seven million. He says plus or minus 200,000. So how about 5.2 million? So it's just random think? guesses. I think it'd be 5.4. That way it'd cover. Because I bet you it's more than 5 million. 5.4 Probably. Million. It's probably 7.6. You know, I bet you it is even more than 5. These are million records. Like you said, they're a target. 200 million. 5 billion dollars no five billion thanks kyle for making this a, so hard for if us if it's a target come on you guys five it's got to be more like 20 million 25.5 25.25 million do i hear 65 million no okay let's no, go with 20 it's gonna million. be a big number it's gonna be way more than five million now that i think about it. 20 million. 20, 20 something. Jordan, you come up with a number. Over 20 million. Jordan, come on, you're, you're the youngest person here, so you're supposed to know all about the, the, the LPs. Yeah. Are you kidding? Uh, the, my kids, it's all just 
streaming music? I mean, all I know is that all of my friends, every time a new Taylor Swift album comes out, they always flock to Target to get the new album. So, all right. I don't know. Yeah, what, what? 20 point what? 20 point eight. I don't know. I've heard 8 million different guesses. So maybe let's that's go with 20.8. 20. That's our final guess. It's our final yeah. point 8 million. What? Okay. 20.8 million. Million. Okay, go back to question three. And four. There was a real logical reason. And it had to do with, I bet you, because it has the way the 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 spinning rate, the speed. If it went too fast, it would it would it would do something to the record player, like the thing would. You can't make it go too fast because if I'm trying it goes to think of the fast, best answer for four, um, uh, or the way I could phrase it, I mean, I think it's based upon the size of the CD. That's how much it'll physically fit. But I don't know. They could have made CDs larger than what they choose to chose to make it. But there was only it, one size of CDs. Right, I know that. What I'm saying is, yeah, when they created CDs, they could have made them. Eight inches, in, as opposed to five. Probably because oh. of the price of oh, yeah. the price of silicon. Maybe seven. Maybe whoever was deciding it, seventy-four was their favorite number. Ha ha. Okay, so going to question three, seventy-eight point two six. That's the speed it turns, right? Yeah, it's revolutions per minute. Okay, so could it have something to do with the turntable not being able to go any faster than that or something? Or it would danger, it would put something in danger or like the diamond on the end of the, um, the thing that, I don't know. You know, the little thing that goes on the arm is a little diamond thing at the end and it goes the on there and plays record. You're talking about the needle? Yeah, the needle on the end. Yeah, so maybe it had something to do with it. it just the speed of the, the thing turning. It, if it, it maybe the record player, they're afraid the record player was going to heat up or something if it went faster. Right. Or just it had something to do with the speed of the turntable being of the turntable, not so much about the record. If that makes sense. Right. Like whoever invented the turntable said, this is the maximum speed, or I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know, know if it's right. I'm just saying I've heard this answer and I don't know what it is. But if somebody else came up with it, I probably could tell you. Unsafe at any speed, just like the, just like the Corvair. How are we doing, Kyle? Are we getting close to being uh, pulled back? Yeah, I think everybody's pretty close to wrapping up. Do I jump back to the main or how do we do it? Go ahead and go back to the main and call us back. All right. Oh, I don't know. What do I want to the say? The price of silicon. If you unless uh, you have something better. Probably the CDs number four is probably because of the number of grooves that it could fit on the on the CD. Well, why not make the CD bigger? Well, I don't know. That'd be more for records, not for CDs. CDs, a digital storage medium. Yeah, but they still had grooves in them. Right. Just very small. So an RPM had grooves in it also. Yep. So maybe whoever manufactured the record only could fit a certain size on the machines. And so the record had to be a certain size. Right. You can only fit somebody grooves because grooves were a certain standard size. Right. Does I that don't make know. more sense for the record one or what are you guys think? That's what I was saying for the record one. I think in number four that the price of the, the silicon was. So what, what were you saying, Vincent? The space as far as between grooves? Yeah. That was hard. Yeah, that was hard. But it was thought-provoking hard. Yeah, yeah. It, well, it was hard and and 
something you could reason through. And and like the last category, it was the same kind of thing. It was a category we haven't had anything like this before. So I like that. All right, we ready for answers? Questions are a burden to others. <laughs> all right, well, starting with the year of the earliest known recording, it's going all the way back to 1860. Oh, Can yes. Find yes. It here? Oh, yeah, wow. Isabella. Yes. Holy moly. Yeah, we're like right on. Was there a plus or minus on that? There was indeed. Uh, we're doing plus or minus five years. So you get oh, the whole I it was decade. Plus or minus oh. Ten years. oh. Isabella had it. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Wow. And she's dancing. Well that then. <laughs> if you want to listen to it, there's the link. It's not much to dance to, but it's there. <laughs> oh, so they could have gotten a Blinken. Wow. So there is a re recording of him. No. There is a recording of Abe Lincoln? Yeah. This on YouTube? It's somewhere so, right? so Lincoln could have stayed home and just listened to the soundtrack to the play instead of going to the theater that night. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, too soon. Too, too soon. soon. Too soon. <laughs> Quality's a little low. So um, the reason we have 78 RPMs or that was chosen as a standard is A, because at the time they thought oh, available commercial motors could be easily used in the manufacturing. Oh, oh, what, oh. what was uh, yeah, number two, Ed snuck in Nyquist twice. So number two yeah, is France, though, so, right? Correct, Based France on for that two. Title? Okay. Okay. Yep. Was, uh, oh, sorry, I didn't type France. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what was the answer? To number two. Uh, number two is France. And France. Um, am I the only one We're that from recalls, France? Am I the only one that recalls we had this question before? Mm. No, you know what? That's probably why I remember it. The third, first one, you mean? Yeah. The first and first and second. Yeah, I think I remember this. Why hmm. did we have that question before? I will look it up it, on break. Because it's cool. Because Punch and Judy were recorded at that rate. <laughs> <laughs> While visiting yeah, the lighthouse. That's the rate at which the light in the lighthouse spun okay. around. Okay. <laughs> All right. The famous synthesizer that I heard a lot oh, of. Number four. You skip number four. Number four. Oh. Apologies. Wait, and four. number five. Four and five. Where are we doing here? Oh, you did. My bad. Let me back up. Sorry. <laughs> it's already off on the other ones. He's told talking. So the reason we have uh, 74 minutes of audio data on a CD, uh, Snopes calls this undetermined, but not false, but you can find it in a lot of places. It's because they wanted Beethoven's Ninth Symphony to be able to fit <gasps> on a single CD. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. I've heard that before too, but I forgot. Oh. I, I heard that from. I feel like the, I heard that, but I don't remember. I, I heard that from the CD engineers at Philips, which helped uh, helped define the system. Well, they believed it anyway. Yeah. Well, they were part of the whole whole process. Uh -huh. and so yeah. And there's there's more detail. It's not just a specific Beethoven. It's the favorite. Um, recording of that, uh, and it's the favorite of the wife of the chairman of Sony at the time. Wow. Well, <laughs> that's pretty specific. We, we need yeah. the more you know, Rainbow, to be. Sounds like a cream right Number five. Number five. CD sample rates come in at 44,100 hertz or 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, the synthesizer we did when I skipped a set had that's the Moog, or is some people incorrectly Moog. say the Moog or Moog? Moog I thank can you. spell it, but I don't know how to pronounce it. What was? Do we have the answer in the chat for number four? And Sorry, it, I'm it, messing up the chat. Let me get in there. Uh, so it, it, just, Moog, it, it is. Moog. I'm just copying them, putting them to the the answer sheet. Give me a second. The answer to number three actually is that's as fast as the hamster could run but it also <laughs> it also equals that i've seen yeah. the flintstones have you ever seen a hamster run yeah yeah that's why that's the speed they run at all right getting it back they're remarkably and... stable <laughs> Maybe I'd do some of the hand crank. Didn't that wasn't a dinosaur or something doing the hand crank on the Flintstones? Most likely. I think it was a little baby triceratops or something, too. I don't think that's that sounds familiar. Yeah. On to number seven. I saw some teams get this. 
The reason for this resurgence of interest in cassette tapes or sales of cassette tapes is associated entirely with the Guardians of the Galaxy film. Yes. Oh, oh my oh, God. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. That totally makes sense. I, oh, hey, I see that somebody just took the hands of straight off of oh, Wikipedia. Look at man. the little citations on there. Oh. <laughs> I it. So, so, so mix mixtape number one. Huh? Yeah, that's what it was. That makes total no, sense. I I was guessing, and I I was like, man, they better have made a a like a memorabilia that is that mixtape. I bet like, there is. That, that is. The is there money the to be thing. made, Ben? Is there? I mean, Jeff, is there money to be made? Oh, there definitely was. Okay, well then they oh, made for it. Sure. And they did it. And yeah, and there's probably porn of it now. Because <laughs> I just said, well, well, I mean, sure. Hi, Faith. I just saw you there. Hi, Faith. You have okay. to wonder if you could play it, though. Yeah. The number eight, then D A T. I don't think it's technically an acronym, but it stands for digital audio tape. Wow. Yeah, I was wondering oh. why, why. I think it seems to be an acronym. Why did you write it in lower case? Is it generally written that way? It's written D-A-T, but it's digital audio tape. So it's one of those things where the tape is the word and it's T, right? Hmm? What? But yeah, I, I, always, I always, I always just, see just a capital ignore him. Go ahead, Kyle. All right. Fine. On to, what do we do? Eight. On to number nine. This is, of course, the Nyquist Shannon sampling frequency. Oh. We put Shannon. Of course. Right? Of course. Shannon works either Nyquist or Shannon. Thank you, Avi. Good job. And then here is the chart because I didn't believe it myself, but uh, there were 23 million. Oh, in wow. vinyl sales. oh we got close. Oh. I, close didn't now. we pick 20 million, you guys? 20.8 20. 20. million. <laughs> can, can we have 25. Uh, plus or minus 3 million? 5 million. You know, actually, I should have been. That is a little unfair. Two hundred thousand should be plus or minus three million. Oh yay! Oh, we base oh, we base our guess. Oh, oh wow! Wow! Uh, wait, wait, wait. Post we guessed yeah. twenty million, and we went down based on but that. You did plus, plus or minus, minus less than one percent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I I was too steep, but did, how? Well, hold on. Tell me about how it affected the guesses. So we guessed twenty million, mm -hmm. and then went. But wait. The plus or minus is far too small for that to be the real number. So we went down to five. So you went down to five million. Right. But we started at 20. Oh, that's what we had five million. Oh. That's funny. Yeah. I think it I think it's up to Kyle. Cause, cause so <laughs> either <laughs> way, you're getting it wrong. Oh, no. we, <laughs> we, we got it wrong. We yeah. put 26.8 million. So I, I, I think the trend for million. tonight, since Romero, is, is that you can, be, you can be mean, so be mean. No. Yeah, actually, we have had a strict uh, streak pretty from earlier, so I guess maybe it stays. Yeah, it stays. <laughs> we picked 25 million, so we think the, it's good. We're so close. We were really close. So, there it is. Oh, well. What will the future of audio recording technology be? We don't know, but there's the past. That was very mm. good. Boy, that Galaxy one. That, that is really category, good. Kyle. Very good. Oh, so I was supposed to look at the earliest known recording. I'm sorry, Aaron team. Said, I should have. I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Whatever that's yeah, what the everybody the does. Aren't doing any better, so. You just look pretty. Hmm. <laughs> this is a whole punch and Judy night so far. No. Yes. Well, for my for our team. I'm not, we'll see. Uh, uh, not, Avi, not, Avi, not, Avi not, how did you know that not, theorem answer? Um, how could you not know that theorem? <laughs> well, I don't know the I've specific never, theorem, never but theorem. Shannon uh, is the founder of uh, one of the founders of information theory, which is hugely important in audio engineering and stuff so i figured he probably had something to do with this all right i and, just and, so and, i don't know uh, you with uh, audio uh, stuff. Yeah. all right so let's start with we are a team yay which is the team i was on and it was kyle's <sighs> team oh that's us five sorry Okay, so then let's go down here to a dearth of nerds. Are you like, dude? No, I just. I was was... 
we have three. Yep, we're being consistent. <laughs> and that really sucks. Okay, uh, Santa is anti-Semitic. I think we got four. Damn, got, we yeah, have the four. high score so far. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Okay, so <laughs> high here. Uh, better than Jesus. Eight. Oh, Ooh. no. Nice work. Ooh. And uh, real yeah. red nose super spreader event. Six. Ooh, nice spread. I like this. This is good mm -hmm. score. So far, we're doing really good to the scores. Everybody see that? Can you see this? Yep. Score? Okay. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of it myself. Uh, too. Our oh. team, our team <laughs> is, 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 um, what do you call it? Hey, tied, tied for last place. Tied yeah. for last love place. It. Okay, so we're let me get a photo. Tied for last place. Woo. Wait, wait, I got to put my Santa hat back on. Okay. Go this way. Okay, everybody ready? Oh, yeah. Isabella, you're not in the picture. Leonard or Leonard? There's, your mixer's more in the picture than you are. Call her by her elf name. Oh, Leonard go back. back. I gotta put my gang hat on for Rob's gang. Oh, we're <laughs> now. Oh, Leonard back. Where are you, Peaches Chattersby? Hey, Leonard, where are you? Leonard. Leonard. I don't think you can hear us. No. <laughs> Okay, well, okay, here we go. We'll Ready? Photoshop him in. One, two, three. Christmas. Got it. All right. Okay. Thank right. everybody. Okay. Nice. Yeah, Abby. Yeah, Abby. Yeah, Abby. Great picture of you, Paula. <laughs> <Did> you <sighs> hey, five minutes, y'all. Not appearing in this. Room. All right. I, I hear a chicken. Okay, good job, everybody, so far. Deborah, I just yes. caught I just caught a tail. 
as I looked up. So I didn't know like what type of animal that was. Was it a cat or a dog? Oh, it's a cat. Okay. But he didn't I, right I thought I had seen you with cats before. I figured it was probably a cat, but I was it, I yeah. since I just caught the tail, I was all like, maybe it's a small dog. <laughs> no. Look, cat butt. This is a cat butt. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's a, there seems to be a lot of cats. Uh, uh, yeah, cats. One walking past Caspian's screen right yep. now. Yep. I have cats. They're just at my mom's house. Oh. Yeah. Well, you guys have three. Carl's got three his. Three cats and, yep. and fish. And then Rachel's trying to get a dog. Oh. Cool. They were at somebody's house and they had a dog and Rachel was sending me pictures of it and she's all like, I want this dog. I'm like, you can't have that dog. You're not going to steal their dog. <laughs> that's that's somebody's dog. dog already. <laughs> yeah, it's already someone's dog. It was a really sweet dog. Oh, uh, you want to see a picture of one of my cats? Sure. It's, yeah. my, it's my home screen. Can you see? There you go. Oh, lay in the... Oh, oh what a cute little nose. What a sweetie. What's your cat's name? His name is Roman. Roman. Roman, right. and then there's yeah. Boots. Boots yeah, is boots. an all all black cat with uh, white. We he has white paws. That's why we call him Boots because it looks like he's wearing white boots. And, and then and there is, uh, and we have Minnie. Oh look, yeah, Carl got his cat. cat. And both 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 of Jordan's cats don't even equal one of my cats in math. Yeah, Carl has gargantuan cats, and and they have small cats. Yeah. Little baby little cat. cat. Minnie's, Minnie's like average size. Yeah, I would say Minnie's average but size. But Boots and Roman, uh, Roman, their mother was a very small cat. Yeah. So yeah, anytime like I'm because Roman hangs out in the basement all the time, and I'm always up in my room. I most of the time only get to see Minnie and like pick up Minnie. So whenever I pick up Roman, I'm like, you're so small and light in my <laughs> arms. <laughs> you feel like a feather to me. Yeah. Like I'm. Like after holding, like before, whenever I first got him, I was like, yeah, that was normal cat weight to me because I had never like held any other cats before. And, Minnie came and then Minnie like, came oh. along and now I'm like worried about Roman anytime I pick him up. And it's like, are you yeah. eating enough, dude? Like, They've always been small cats. What? Yeah, yeah they're small oh, yeah. and skinny. They're tiny. But don't worry, we're feeding them yeah. enough. Well, what's next? Another round. Alive. Yeah, I hope it's a good one. Well. All right, Peggy, where are you? I can't find Peggy. Something. Peggy. God. Oh, no, Where's Peggy? I'm back. Went out. Oh, there she is. Okay, I couldn't find her on the screen. And she's using cupcake something. I'm going to need my arm here. Oops, wait. Hitting the wrong buttons. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're back. There you go. We're back in black. Da, 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 da. Okay. Put me on the shoulder. I need my shoulder. No announcements? Yeah, we have announcements, and uh, the leading announcement is that we have Monterey County Skeptics Skeptic Camp coming up. Hopefully, you have seen the link. Uh, I've been sharing it all over Facebook. I even got an ad to pay for it to send it a little further. Here is the link to it. We're going to have some really amazing, fun speakers this year. It's on January the 8th. I will have the videos out probably by that week ish onto youtube but it's more fun to hang out it's a whole day it'll probably be raining like crazy and snowing somewhere or hurricanes and all that other stuff happening wherever you are and it's um, happening over zoom we will broadcast over youtube it's the same kind of thing as we did last year with people interacting with each other during the the breaks and the um lunch time it's it's just kind of fun it's like being here except without trivia the we have uh we're leading off with uh klaus larson and steen uh, over in the um, in Swanholm. Swanholm. They're in uh, Copenhagen in, and they're going to be talking about 9 11, <laughs> the truth, math, the truth yeah. movement. Then we're going to have Linda Rosa, who's going to talk about attachment therapy. And I have not really wrapped my mind about, around what attachment therapy is, but this is going to be really interesting to see what she does. She talks about a lot. Linda Rosa's daughter um, was the first, the youngest person ever to be in. Um, JAMA, the Medical Journal of, um, uh, to do a, a thing in JAMA. She was like a fourth grader and she did therapeutic touch. So she, her daughter has her own Wikipedia page. A very interesting, she was able to prove that um, 
that uh, therapeutic touch doesn't work. Then we have Rob Palper, who's going to be talking about critical thinking 101, inoc inoculating yourself against false beliefs. That is, if he can, he can get um, Zoom th from prison. Um, <laughs> Kyle Polish is next. Polish, Polish, Polish. Close enough. Oh my gosh, I'll never get it. I no, I'll get it someday. Uh, he's going to be talking about cryo preservation, a skeptical survey. So this will be really good, especially for these people in the snow. Do you have an, an interview with uh, Jay Novella? Mm -hmm. no, I don't. Uh, I didn't know he had a special interest in it. Oh, he's he's a big proponent. Uh, Mark right. Edward has a story that he likes to tell tell about how he knows Walt Disney is buried in a um, it, right out of the ha haunted mansion. He knows for sure. It's a really interesting story if you get a chance to hear it. I would like uh, that. Adrian Hill is going to be talking about TikTok ticks with teens in the pandemic. Have you seen this phenomenon on Tick, uh, on Tick, on top TikTok? <laughs> I've got these kids with ticks that are really manifesting themselves like crazy. And there's a lot of speculation if they're feeding each other or if it's like a mass hysteria kind of thing or they're just acting it's it's interesting richard saunders is going to talk about great australian psychic prediction project and adrian and richard did a really good job on the last uh, skeptic zone if you haven't heard it they read the report it's really great uh, mono who is in here tonight mono sigmund is going to talk about why the earth the age of the earth has oscillated wildly over time which will be good we have, oh, speaking of good, we have a new speaker who's I've never spoken to. His name is Craig Good, and he's got a book out on relax and enjoy your food. So he's going to be talking about that. Allison Long is going to talk about Maine vaccines, the state of Maine, and the GSOW project. And lastly, but not leastly, J.D. Sword is going to talk about get about to the satanic panic and how it created QAnon. So lots of great topics. I put it in the chat. Um, we have a Facebook group and you can click on it to see, if, you know, to remind yourself you want to go. So well, will there be prizes? So to be really, really pedantic, Susan, I assume you mean why the estimate of the age of the earth has varied widely because the age of the earth has pretty much changed at a constant rate of one year per year since its inception. <laughs> I'm sure that you could talk to mono about that i'm sure he'll be very interested so well, since years were invented anyway. so speaking that of one that, over her head i think <laughs> way over one, we're one year older every year karen has a, say. i got my socks in the mail susan oh i got mine too they're great go ahead uh yes yeah, so i missed the beginning of this um am i remembering correctly that there's no charge but donations to a certain cause are welcome yeah, Snowflake, thank you for mentioning that. Yes, it is free, but we will be asking for donations if you are so inclined, and it'll go to our nonprofit, the Monterey County Skeptics, the About Time Project, GSOW, all of that together. We're really trying to raise funds to pay for scholarships for people to be able to go to conferences that are mm -hmm. members of GSOW and mm -hmm. Girl Skeptics and Monterey County Skeptics. So, may, may, If one is so moved, uh, can that donation be made now or soon or should we wait and have it associated with attending and participating in the you know that's a great question right now uh people who are using it for tax donations are, donate uh, early donate often yeah yeah we want to make sure you donate but there is a um you know if you are getting your taxes and you want to um donate that'd be great today they're asking for donations to the human fund human fund Human uh, fun, yes. Seinfeld, Seinfeld joke. Oh, I don't get it. Okay, so, <laughs> Seinfeld so joke. Kyle from Data Skeptic, speaking of being a speaker, what is uh, the latest on Data Skeptic? I listened to the last one on, what was the last one I listened to? Traffic patterns. That's right. Trying to predict specifically uh, traffic collisions. These rates vary by time in a way that statisticians have a hard time trying to forecast. So I talked to one researcher about how they get a little bit more accurate at trying to determine how many collisions will be in a particular city on a given day? That's this week on Data Skeptic. Do you, did you, no, I haven't, are you gonna be, you know, I'm really interested in this idea of, of, let me see if I can articulate this well, that the rate of how much, wait, wait, I can do this, you guys. I know <laughs> I can do it. The rate of death or accidents is human error is the most obvious. But if we allow AI 
to do, you know, cars to do their driving, self-driving cars, there's going to be a rate, but it'll probably be lower. Are we willing to trade off that um, giving up our autonomy for the car so that we can lower our rates of accidents? Like, I mean, you know, is, 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 is I think that's an interesting. That is the dilemma here. that society is going to face. Obviously, depends on who you ask. Yeah, my friend who Are also says this to about his person to point a finger at. My friend who says this about firearms says the same thing about this subject. You're going to pry the steering wheel from my finger, my cold dead fingers. Currently, <laughs> well, currently I, I think all that don't... matters is people won't be getting driver's licenses anymore. I think what they'll do is they'll start charging you more for insurance if you're going to drive it, and that'll go up and up and up to the point where you can't afford it anymore. Eventually. That's an interesting thought. It's well, just, little kids will get their licenses now. Well, it's an interesting thought. You know, another thing I think is fascinating is this thing that's going on in New Zealand by raising the, the cigarette age. Has everybody heard about that? Yeah. No. They want to raise and the age of, for, sure. you have to be a certain age. What is they're starting the with smoke. 10 year olds this year to buy yeah. cigarettes. And every year the age will go up. So there will be a generation of people who are alive who are 13 years old and younger now who will never be able to um, legally purchase smoke. cigarettes oh. because they will always be outed. And eventually what will happen is nobody will be able to buy cigarettes. Oh, sure. Oh, they're making that worked cool for drugs. Again. That worked really good for drugs. Yeah. yeah. We're great they're for making it cool again. Take it underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is New Zealand. Things are a little different there. Yeah, they have drug problem there too. But this is cigarettes. Well, that's I don't know. A I think, very I strong addiction. It's a noble effort. Well, that's why they're starting to stop it now before they're able to try to phase it out. Yeah. yeah, it's phasing it out over time. So you have well, 13 year olds, 14 year olds. If you're okay with government telling some things you can't do, it it's a slippery slope. Well, considering yeah. that there are no, no way, 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 way. Can't we just find a way to remove nicotine from the tobacco? I mean, that's what the problem. Well, you know, New Zealand but, is. But that, that's countries. what makes it addictive. That's not what makes it carcinogenic. Makes it pleasurable to a lot of people. I think that if the government's paying for the health care, the government isn't paying for the health care in North in, in New Zealand. Zealand? People, people in are. New Zealand, they don't have it. Tax. If the government's Taxes. paying for it, the government is not creating money out of thin air. Taxpayers are paying for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, interesting discussion. Yeah. We're moving on to Peggy. I'm sorry, I was taking a nap. What's Peggy? What's Peggy? <laughs> Peggy? Is Peggy going? No, uh, it's my here. turn. Oh, wait a minute. Right. You forgot me, Susan. Oh, what's going on with the end you, you, you mentioned the, the Great oh, Australian wrong. Psychic Prediction Project, but huh. last last Friday, I got my article on the subject published, oh, which yeah? is now, now in the chat. So it gives the inside scoop of what we did, how we did it, and also has all the links to the original report as well as some Adrian's article. And so it's kind of one stop. An exhaustive point. report on the exhaustive project, report. and it's really good, you guys. And this is cool. So today, just two hours ago, before well, two hours before this started, I got an email from Paul Fredago from CFI forwarding it to me uh, from Seth Andrews of The Thinking Atheist saying, I'd sure love to get Rob Palmer on the show to talk about that work on the psychics. Too bad, he's, on the, too bad he's in prison. <laughs> so that's what I, I wrote I back. Aimed, I hope you aimed him at Richard. Well, we, we know each other because I interviewed him before. So um, we're going to talk tomorrow. We'll see. But I'd also, besides this, I'd like to talk about just not that, but the whole subject of the whole harm in psychics and the stings that Susan's done. So that kind of thing would be interesting. I'd like to do an interview with him. And I'll tell my windmill story. <laughs> I actually told him that. You did. He was yeah, there. Yeah, the last time we talked. I have. If, if, I can tell the windmill story later, but I can't. I can't record it. Anyway. <laughs> so we're well, that's a good to, one then. <laughs> okay, moving on to Peggy. Um. So I just want to point out that on my team, Jamie and Caspian have left, and so my team will be significantly. What? Where they go? They went out to get food. food. May or may, may not be back. I like but the, he's never left before. I like the commitment. <clears throat> Whoa. Anyway, sorry team. She could have they could have left somebody there. They didn't have to go. Oh. You guys will give them help. Well, okay. You have a bigger juice card with him than I do. Yeah. Uh, I have no 
nothing over him. I'm besides, I'm going to be on the team now. Oh, okay, good. Got you. oh problem solved then. Yeah, problem solved. <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's see what this is. If, if it's about wine. Yeah, when it, when it comes great... to the when it comes to a random trivia topic, Susan is easily as useful as Cassie. As random as the rest <laughs> yeah. of us. So tonight's category is Rangifer Tarandis, which is a reindeer. So it's all about reindeers. Oh, I'm sure I will do as good as Cassidy would do. <laughs> I think so. And muting in oh. one. That's funny. To unmute. Go to my doc. You sound like and you're unmuted. All right. So everybody hear this? So the first question is, the largest herd of reindeer in the world lives in what country? Number two is, reindeer in North America are called what? And then number three, female reindeer are the only species of deer that do what? It's not fly, is it? <laughs> Depends on how high they are when you drop them. Yeah, good guess, Rob. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I wouldn't have accounted for Rudolph. Wait, clarification. Female is well, not you know, a species. There's, there's the whole trans thing too. So, it's the reindeer is the species. The female of the reindeer, the only female of the species of deer that does something. Plays reindeer games. Number four. In winter, reindeer feed on what type of food primarily? Number five, reindeer herding is an important historical part of the livelihood and culture of what Northern European ethnic group? Coming in now. Number six, I know that Susan is gonna like this one. What is the reindeer character's name in the movie Frozen? I was going to say that the only thing I know about reindeers I learned from the movie Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and you're on my team right now. Oh, yay. Okay. Donner and Blitzen, names in the poem Twas the Night Before Christmas, are based on either Dutch or German words for what? Ooh. Donner und Blitzen. Good accent. Danke. Number <coughs> eight, what country singer and movie star recorded Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in 1949 which then went on to become a number one hit on the US charts. It takes me a while, I'm sorry for my clumsiness. And number nine, why is it said that Santa's reindeer must all be female based on their commonly seen images? Okay. <laughs> Don't be dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Mine's oh, already there. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't write that one well enough, did I? <laughs> Number ten. Finally, we have reindeer are the one of all. <laughs> reindeer are one of the only mammals that can see what type of light, giving them an advantage in the Arctic.
All right. Questions? Those are really good. These are really good. Well, we've had we're really getting some good categories tonight. I like yeah. this. Very, no very questions. Good. Uh, off you go. Off to go. Oh, Let's did I get powers? Mm -hmm. I didn't get power, Susan. Yeah, you do. Do I? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're right. I do. Sorry. Of course. I only have one job here. <laughs> it didn't pop up until just a minute ago. <clears throat> hey, team. Hey, I think I knew hey, a couple. Of, I knew a couple of these, and there's one I just cannot remember. I I just heard it yesterday. I'm having a really hard time remembering with the frozen. The Frozen's um, reindeer is named <laughs> Morris. <laughs> anyway, so what do you guys got? Somebody wake up, James. Uh, Turn on okay, the light, James. I'm, okay, I am. This is I'm throwing around a guess here. Um, with the largest herd, would it be something like uh, up in uh, Finland or something like that? As good as any. I don't know. Vincent, Larry, 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 are you an expert on? You're on mute, Larry. Well, they they raise reindeer like we raise cows, right? Finland. Yeah. Yeah, I would think it'd be somewhere up there. Um, I fin, Finland or Norway. Fin, fin, fin. What is that darn reindeer's name? Is it Finn? No. Are you writing? Who's writing this down? Are you writing this stuff down, Susan? No, this I'm a visitor. Uh, Finn. Okay, Finn. two, I think, is uh, Elf, here comes James. Wait, I gotta let James back in the room. Oh, James is a good writer, he'll I'll let him write. He's <laughs> <laughs> not here. Uh, then two, uh, Elk. No, it's no, uh, no, I it's. I, you know, I just came up the other day and I saw it and I, and I can never remember, um, <laughs> venison. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to James? Uh, <laughs> it says not joined. He's trying to join. All right. Well then hang on. Uh, okay, what, what do we say? Number, so number one, we're going to say Finland. Would that, that work? Or no? Sure. Oh, and I hope James is good at the, knows these answers. Hurry up, James. Uh, okay. Oh, we were thinking number one, maybe Finland. I'm thinking Greenland, but Finland was my, uh, or Iceland was my second choice. No, Iceland's not big enough and that, to have that many. I would think it would have to be one of the mainland things. I think it's Finland. I don't think it's Norway. I think it's Finland. <laughs> Okay, so reindeer in North America are called caribou. Uh, um, I think that's oh I God. think that's right. I think that that sounds about yeah. right. I, I don't know about the question, so be sure to. You have I think them. that I think that's good. Um, Alan said it, they were called venison. <laughs> 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 that's good, Alan. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> the female reindeer. I had to clarify something for another team, so I need to share that with you. Uh, the the ethnic group is an ethnic group; it's not a country. So, where? Which question? Uh, I can't even. Uh, number, the, number five. It, yeah, yeah, it's not. It's it's more specific. Oh, livelihood an ethnic group of what? Okay, it's yeah. a culture ethnic group. Like it, uh, well, you know what? Is it one of those countries? One of those countries is like Lapland. With it, is there an That's ethnic it, yeah. group like? Laps. Laplanders. The Laplanders are laps. Yeah. Uh, yes. With two it's not peaks. a country, but it's a region. Yeah. Oh, wait, do you think that's the answer for five? I yeah. don't know. It's the, only, it's the only ethnic group I can think of. It's, it's I, I'll bet you good money it's the answer. Okay. Are you writing this down? Me? Yeah. No, uh, I'll do it. I got it. Okay. So that what number was that? Uh that that it was five, but um but going back to number three. I bet you it has something to do with men's, um, going to heat. Now, wait a second. Do, with rain, with caribou, do both the male and females grow? Um, oh, horns. horns. That's an idea. Antlers. Antlers. I don't know. Is that true? You're the one that's, you two are the Canadians. 
there there weren't a whole lot of deer running around Toronto when I was okay, there. Okay, Larry, what's going on in Calgary there? You got some caribou over there? And there they only have cowboys in Calgary. Oh, uh, Susan, can you give me, a, I don't know if you gave me back my powers. I can, but I, can, I have to wait until we get into the other room. Okay. When we get into the main room, I, I think I can't. Well, I don't think I can. Let me see if I can here. I don't think the females uh, keep their racks. I think they lose them. So they have them for a while? Sounds possible. Yeah, I think they have them for a little while, but then, you know. All right, want to put that down? I'll put that down. Yeah, won't let me give you the powers, James, until we leave the room. Okay. Um, and I think four is lichen, isn't it? I did, I, there's not much energy in there. I'm thinking uh, the needles off the uh, trees. Uh, caribou so or tend to travel in just over snow a lot, so there aren't too many trees in the Arctic Circle. So they're easy. They're easy to reach because they're really slow. They're really low. Uh huh. The pine needles might be. Yeah, you might be right on that. Because how um, many they're them? pine nuts, pine cones, pine nuts. Mm -hmm. Eats, How many of them live in the, the snow? Huh? Uh, they're saying the what type of food primarily? So, mm -hmm. I mean, lichen grows there all the time, right? So, okay, <laughs> there's going to be enough uh, uh, food out of that lichen. It's pretty How do you spell lichen? L i c h e n. And of course, I could be totally wrong. Yeah, but we all could be totally. We'll be wrong on everything so yeah <laughs> welcome to my world all day all day uh, my argument against the, the lichen is it's just not that much lichen there maybe they have to eat a lot it's on you mean, all the rocks, you mean so. there's not that much of it or do you mean that you don't think there's enough nutrients in it well there's both i mean and when you look at lichen on it it's a it's a, it's a maybe a quarter inch thick i don't even know what lichen is well now i want it's like a moss isn't it yeah i I, you know, I wonder, I wonder if they don't do a lot of what like the hibernating animals do is that they essentially stock up the fat for, uh, during the warm weather and eat very little all winter. Hmm, makes sense. That could make sense. You know, but I mean, so, but I'm assuming they eat something. You know. Right. Well, then maybe the lichen, lichen grows in the snow. No, the trees, nothing grows they, in the snow. <laughs> like on the trees. The lichen grows on the rocks. Well, maybe they get it on, maybe they do the, the nettles on the right. trees. That's what I'm saying, the needles, because the lichen would be covered by snow. Right, and the needles would be around all year round. Right. Well, think, can... back to, think back to Santa. Did, does it ever say what Santa fed them? He fed them reindeer food. <laughs> I don't think there's that many trees he had these big bags these like brown fabric bags and they had all the stuff in it and he put it on their nose and they'd go like this oh you know what they do in frozen he eats carrots carrots oh yeah Those don't grow what in the... that, Susan? <laughs> <laughs> he eats a lot of carrots uh, wait, did you carrots. remember him? but yeah but did you remember his name never mind the carrots What is the go through the alphabet. I keep in the movie it's Frozen. Sphin. Susan, go through the alphabet. I think it's Sven. Who? Sven? Sven. 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 Okay, what number is that? I'm not sure. I'm really Six. having a hard time. I keep wanting to say Olaf, but that's the... That's the snowman. Snowman. So Sven or Sven or... Let me think. I'll put Sven. I don't know. He's always talking for him. It's, he's like... Why? Okay, by the way, Donner and Bled Donner and Blitzen, I believe, are Thunder and Lightning. Oh, that makes sense. There's a Donner and Blitzen overture by uh, by Strauss, I think. Oh, let's let the magician the magician musician. That makes sense. I believe that's I believe that's Thunder and Lightning. I think right. number eight is, is a, uh, I think the country music singer is number eight Lives? is Ur Burl Ives. Yeah, no, Lives. no, 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 no. Gene Autry. What? I, I that makes sense. 1949. Okay. I think really? it's Gene Autry. I think it's Gene Autry. <laughs> Who's singing it? Burl Ives sang a couple. Uh, there's a 
Have a holly jolly Christmas. Yes, that that he sang that, but that's not what we're looking at here. He had that really deep voice for lives. Hey team, how much time do you need? Well, we're on eight. So he sings it in the cartoon. <laughs> well, in the cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that who it is? Cartoon of the uh, yeah Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, or was it, uh, or was it uh, Frosty? Frosty. Okay. We What's know that? that Gene Autry was a movie star. I think he was. Yeah. So was was he a country music star? singer? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He was a cowboy. Burl Ives. Burl Ives was a country music singer and a. Uh, he was a TV star. I don't know where he was a movie star. Yeah, no, he was in some movies and stuff like that. Okay, but I, 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 I'm, that I'm, I'm almost right. sure that it's not. Uh, that and it's, I want to hold. I want to hold. I, I believe it's Gene Autry. It's Gene. I'll go with Autry. Sure. Okay. Okay. Why uh, is it said the reindeer Santa's reindeer must all be female based on the commonly seen images? Is it because they're smiling all the time? That's because they don't, don't want to have their uh, strong set hairs showing. Their what? Their, their dicks. The <laughs> penises. But that's just too obvious of an answer. Because they're always telling, they're always turning back and telling Sancho where they're supposed to be going. <laughs> Santa's always mansplaining to him. <laughs> no, but you wouldn't be able to see that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, why is it that his reindeers, why is it said that all or must be female? Well, is it come back to the antler business? Could be. Well, if yes. they were male, they'd have antlers, right? But now, now come to think of it, in the pictures, are do they have antlers all the time? Do they always have antlers? Yeah, of course. You wouldn't know yeah, what I they think were. So, yeah. They'd be flying horses. <laughs> Unklers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they'd be flying along like the horses. <laughs> oh. Can I give you a two-minute warning? Sure. You can't. Well, how about we come back to that one? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not. Okay. I can, I can come back. Yeah. But just know that lots of people are getting done or, you know. Okay. No, no, okay. I, I'm, so about saying, we're, I'm just talking about our, uh, for our numbers here. We're yeah. almost done. All right. There are only one mammals that see this type. Oh, and is it possible number 10 is uh, um, infrared? Infrared. Infrared. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. They said nine Good. is the only one we need, right? Oh, wait a second. Did we get eight? Did we get eight? Yeah, we said that was Gene Autry. What was seven? No, wait, that's uh, uh, a Donner, Oh, Donner and Blitzen is the uh, Thunder and Lightning. Okay. Uh, yeah, eight, we want Gene Autry. Nine is a. Uh... Why must they all be female? I I mean, because it's a cartoon, they wouldn't have had any low hanging fruit if, 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 anyway. Strange thing is, they show what a cow has. Because <laughs> they're just so well groomed. <laughs> Are they, do no, they, they, have, do they have nail clothes. polish? Do they have nail polish? Yeah, they have their nails done and their tails are braided. Wait a minute. Um, no, they don't have tails. Uh, spots on their back. Females have okay, sp spots isn't on their that, back. Isn't that Bambi? <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> Maybe. I, I, I don't know. Do reindeer have All right, hang on. on Is there a difference okay. between the tails of a male and the tails of a female? Uh, Peggy, you're enjoying yourself too much. <laughs> okay, that's, be... a good, that's a good question. I thought they had little tiny white tails that were like really short. Yeah, so maybe those are the females. Those are the white tails, white tail deer. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. if you see a Santa's reindeer right now, I don't have anything Christmassy in here right now, so I can't look. Not even, even though I have a fifty million photos on my wall, right? Well, no, now, they're always short little tails. I do have fifty million pictures on the wall. So maybe, yeah. maybe it's the tails. So you think the males have longer tails? I don't know. And the females have short tails? Uh, let, let's just throw that out there because we're not going to figure it out. So I'll just say the tails. Do we? I don't know if we have to be specific about what kind of tail. I think tails make sense. Okay. 
Right. Just just I'm, I'm closing the rooms, guys. Okay. okay. But don't close it while you're in here. Wait, oh, she already did. No. Oh, I thought I thought I had to. No, you're supposed to be here and then leave. Oh, so I have to, where to do I go? Here. Where you do I go? You have to sit here until until they throw us out. Because if you, <laughs> because if you leave the room, everything closes. And that, that's you how have we to be in this room. room when the room closes. We yeah. used to say we had to be in this room when we closed. Right. You want to be in this room and then right. leave it to the main room. And then, oh, and so, then oh, so she has to be in her original, oh, her home room. Oh, oh, oh. So, I have to be in this room. Well, this floor to be the main room doesn't make sense. Okay, so, so the, you're good here. You can't go to another room. Okay, right, so the, we, rule, well, the we thing can. is, is, is you want to be in your in your room, the room that you want to be told to go to next, whenever it's uh -huh. your time. You're, you want to be in that room. You have seven seconds. And then the other anyway, way. you're there, so Four, you're going to leave with us. Two, leave with yeah, us. that's fine. You can move to um, Butner Federal Prison. That is where, if you probably have a terminal illness, or you uh, are in sick, between right now. That's where they move you. So um, we're talking about Rob Palmer again with the terminal. No, we're talking Whoa. about the Unabomber. <laughs> What's his He's name? Oh, his name is Kaczynski. He probably yeah. is ill because they moved him to the uh, federal prison here about an hour and a half. <laughs> So that's where Bernie Madoff was. Oh, was oh, Why are you guys talking about Ted Kaczynski? Yeah. Because they moved Ted Kaczynski from Colorado to North Carolina last year. Oh, so. yeah. why North Carolina? Uh, because we have the federal supermax prison here with the great hospital facilities. So like if you're a federal inmate with cancer or chronic illness and you need medical care, they send you over. That makes sense. Here. They so didn't even tell his to... brother and his and who who's the one who turned him in. They didn't even tell him. He mm -hmm. he found out for somebody else. Where are they going to send Trump? <laughs> we don't know yet. Uh, All right. I'd be surprised if he sees prison time. Oh, we have it. Okay. Okay, James, I did it. Okay. All right. Woo! -hoo, that was fun. All right, reindeer. Are we ready? Yeah, this is something I could definitely talk to people at the grocery store about. You bet. Are you going to play Please. reindeer games? <laughs> They're playing them now. Number you can, one. You can give them a choice, Susan. Sure. Do you want to talk about the James Webb telescope or reindeer? I, I, I'll go between the two. These are cuter. Yay, Leonard. Right. Oh, look at um, that. So Russia. I people, there were very good answers to this. It was Canada or Russia in most rooms. And Russia just has the biggest herd. Sorry, guys. They look the same, though. Sorry, Romero. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. And then number two who is says, caribou. Who says Putin? <laughs> so says Putin. Yeah, they're probably Thank all animatronic or something. Okay, we got caribou. Got oh. one. Number three, females grow antlers. It's the only yeah. deer species where the females have antlers, which is related to the later question mm -hmm. about... Oh man! Mm -hmm. oh, Number no. two is lions. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Go team! We talked him out of this. Yeah, I heard you doing that, and I just <laughs> laughed. Well, why didn't you step up? <laughs> no, I didn't laugh because it was my damn team. Okay, number five. Yay. Yay. Sammy people, but I will also take laps or lap landers, Yay. even though that is not preferred anymore. We get two points because we got both of those names. <laughs> it's, it's, I, didn't know. Name <laughs> sensitive. I didn't know they changed their name. We could no longer them. laps. Why, why don't they not want to be laps? They never they did, changed they did, their name. Same reason Eskimos they, don't want to be Eskimos. They oh, didn't get, see, didn't they didn't get lapped. I didn't know they that. They were always in the lead. Oh. <laughs> oh, Leonard. Oh, Sven. Yay. Oh, my God. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Susan. Yes. Oh, he Susan. said, I'm going to blow this. I'm sure anybody who was around little kids during that whole mania knows this so oh. well. But... You're, you're talking as if it were in the past tense. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the mania goes on. Mm -hmm. Good going, Defector. Oh, good oh, I job. love that. Alan. I love that. Alan, Alan that was that. beautiful. It was music based. I loved your answer. Oh, so Dutch was Donder and Blixem. <coughs> and then in German, it's Donner and Blitz. And then it changed in the poem to Donner and Blitzen. That's what amazing. for the previous question? What if we put moss? You mean instead of lichen? Yes. I don't think moss and lichen are the same critter. What lichen is a symbi a symbiosis with algae and a, and a fungus. 
Yeah, yeah it's not a no, fungus to survive. Get, we didn't get they mylar, it, so that's not fair. They call it. <laughs> yeah. Rain, I'm, I'm not taking moss. As, I heard it referred to as reindeer moss, but that's. Just yeah, because that's the thing on, on, the, on the page for Larry it. For it Jean. simply mentions reindeer moss. Good job, Jean Larry. Robin. Not moss, so. No, Larry talked that us that yeah, yeah, who, who, who got that? Linda got this Man. one? Defector. <laughs> With those classics, the three little elves and Poppy the puppy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think I remember reading because there was some discussion, at least on, on my team, about Gene Autry versus Burl Ives. I think Burl Ives did it later, but Gene Autry had the first one. Yeah. And you said country singer. And he wasn't Burl country. Ives was yeah. a right. folk singer. Yeah. yeah right. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, the males shed their antlers in the fall after they rut. So by yes. by Christmas, they don't have any more oh. antlers. The females uh, drop the their antlers around. later in the spring. <laughs> yeah, I saw that in Snopes. <laughs> also, the, the dangly that. parts. Cool. Nice. Yeah. It's been hey. all over Facebook all Christmas. Hey, team, we're, making a, so, we're making a comeback here. And we finally, number 10. Antlers. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, it's yeah, not yeah, oh. Good job, Vincent. Oh. We got Paula, it. Sorry. Oh, uh, oh, Paula's gonna hate us. Paula, you know, <laughs> we going need to, to listen to you. <laughs> so, so I was trying to figure out. So why do they have the ultraviolet light? Is it for the? So they can so we're trying to figure out uh, why they, have they would six have months ultraviolet of night. No. <laughs> yeah. It's a reflection if you, of if evolutionarily speaking, your your UV is going to help you in the summer, and your infrared is going to help you in the winter. But... Right. That's what we were saying. Yeah. So that makes no sense. And you can gonna, conceivably have both, but and they, can, and they can see farther constellations. Don't get it. It said that uh, <laughs> dark blue eyes mean you can see an ultraviolet better. So does that mean I can see ultraviolet better? It just doesn't sound like very intelligent design to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm, the secret to that answer is that they can see in both infrared and ultraviolet but the infrared is not unique. Well, it didn't say it was unique. It was like one yeah, out of says, several, but yeah, many, but many, of, many, many mammals of, do that, see, Leonard? I a lot of mammals yeah. see in infrared. Lots of mammals can see in the- uh, uh, Fine lots. Infrared. Uh, Notably okay. polar bears, uh, wolves, and like there's whole categories of animals that can see in the infrared. Um, so, and so how does the UV- Almost how does none the, of them see ultraviolet. How does the UV help? What are they seeing when? Well, they moonlight. don't get sunburned. Yeah, I heard moonlight. No, nope, snow blind. Yeah, they're going to be like uh, uh, immune to snow blindness or something, and mm -hmm. be more aware of predators in the summer in in the very bright light hmm. of summer. Okay. They can they can find all the good parties by finding the black lights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we ready for our scores? Yeah. Okay, let me get over to the score page. Yay, Peggy! Well done. That was really great, Peggy. Thank you, Karen. Let's hope that we don't have any zeros like the wine category. <laughs> Did we have a zero? I don't think we had a zero. Did we have a zero? Yeah, wine. Wine. Well, not zero, but yeah. No. What was the subject last time you did, Peggy? Wine. Wine. Okay. Wine. wine. Okay. Well, that's what <laughs> we're about to do. I Let's want start to with go the dirt the third. Is... Nine. Oh, nine. We got a nine. And Ooh, that's only because we voted. We all voted Paula down, or we would have got a ten. We got a ten. <laughs> oh. Paula. Okay, we are a team. Yay. Seven. Oh yay! Double the score. It's a double the score. We're not in last place anymore. <laughs> Stop that count. Stop that count. All right, <laughs> Santa is anti-Semitic, which was Peggy's team, and the one I was on. Seven. Seven. Yay, team. Well, we're up there. And uh, Rudolph's Red Nose Super Spreader of it. This one should have got a 10. Mm -hmm. Nine. Mm -hmm. Nine. Oh, and if we'd have listened to Romero, it would have been 10. No. Listen to Romero. All right. And better than Jesus. Nine. Whoa. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, oh, oh. they had me 20, 26. Oh, we're in last place again. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yay us. Hey, you you the we doubled our score. Extra points for consistency. We <laughs> yes. Our score. Hey, you're on pace. Yeah. You're probably going to score 14 points in the next Maybe round. you guys should pick a more positive name and maybe you would have a better 
better score. <laughs> oh, so after what we just learned, what's wrong with my photo? Where are you? Up here <laughs> talking. Oh, because their noses are glowing. No. They have the antlers. Has antlers. Because the reindeer have penises and we now know they're all female. Yep. Rudolph has antlers. Yeah. They're, they're well, gender I was fluid. Just about deer. To say that. Yeah. Rudolph has antlers. How do we they're know that they're all trans yeah. reindeer? How do we know yeah, they're I, all male? We I don't. was told that no, Rudolph was a girl. Yeah. Rudolph is not a girl. Names. We pick them. They don't even know what their names are. Rudolph's, Rudolph's not a girl. Though. So and I'm just we know? I'm just gonna say that the, mm. the team that's in the lead is name is better than Jesus, which means that they have like a positive attitude of being the best. So maybe think of that when you have games and the name. Maybe. The answer to That's how we know the they're solution. female is that the males this time of year don't have antlers. Well, it, it, it could it could be that the person that decided that they're male is just wrong. <laughs> well, the guy who wrote the song it decided who led led. It's, so. it's like oh, the you'll and go and down in history. He. He will yeah. go down in history. How yeah. can fly, yeah. but you can go down the third pronoun. Yeah, but I can't wait to make that decision. They used to call, laugh and call Why him names. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe he is Rudolph's pronoun. Did we know? Unless he's gay, he says mm. she likes. No, no, no. He was really into Clarice and then the animated Rudolph the Red Nose. Again, do we know what Rudolph's you know pronouns are? How he how he how they identify? According to the song. His, the pronouns that was are imposed on him oh, by Gene, the songwriter. Oh, Gene Autry was wrong. Well, yes. I, I suspect no. Gene Autry wrote, wrote, wrote the song. His pronouns oh, are here. Wait to watch this video later. All right, so Bobby, can you remove us from this this oh. dearth of information? Dearth oh my there? gosh, Adrian is wondering why she forgot that there was trivia so, tonight. So Kyle, he he and Hall and them bar. Yeah. Well, Adrian can come in and join the. No, she's not feeling good. She can come in. I'm going to jump off pretty soon. She can join. She said to say hello to everybody. Okay. Tell her we, tell her we need her. Oh, so we can say word. Jim Newman had called me between the first and second things, and um, he didn't know. He forgot it was trivia night, but he says hello to everybody, and he's driving in Oregon right now. Oh, hi, Jim. Oh. Hi, Jim. Go see Janine. Why else would he go to Oregon? No other reason. Exactly. Yeah, nothing else. Thank in you. Watching. <laughs> All right, Robin. Okay. Um, it was a really interesting category. So I have yeah. power. Nothing okay. to do with sci-fi. Or uh, mine is definitely nothing to do with sci-fi. So um, darn. I will not. It is. This is a Christmas category, but I will not tell you the name of the category. Um, okay. uh, but you'll figure it out. It's a mystery category. Question number Mute. one. Muting in three, two, one, go. Okay. Robin, unmute yourself. Question number one. Who wrote Alice in Wonderland? And where is my... Okay. Um... Let's see. Sorry, I'm cutting and pasting. Question number two. Who wrote the song that begins with the line, Oh, Carol, I am but a fool? Question number three. Question number three, who starred in the TV version of In the Heat of the Night playing as Sparta, Mississippi Police Chief Bill Gillespie? Oh, 
problems. When you try to do something fast, it doesn't work. That's Number four. Who played Dolly Levi for the first time in 1964 and for the last time in 1995 and passed away in 2019 at the age of 97? And you can hear my husband sneezing, probably he's got to get yeah. that out. <laughs> he's Mr. Allergies. Yeah. Thought it, was, thought it was a dog barking in some weird way. <laughs> I thought Number five. It down. Who is the CEO of Big Cat Rescue, a nonprofit animal sanctuary based near Tampa, Florida? <laughs> Shush in there. Quiet in the den. You know what, Robin? Corey's had a very hard day. <laughs> Corey's had a hard year. <laughs> yeah, he's ready for 2022, I bet. He is totally ready for 2022. I assisted but, Corey this morning. Oh. He's had a very hard day. <laughs> He's kind of tired, but that's good. It's good. The more exercise he does, the better. You get a good night's sleep. But we, we had a flat tire this morning. Uh, and Corey, five weeks post hip replacement now. He, he um, well, he had to hitch a ride from Isabella. <laughs> but he got the tire changed. Okay. Number six, who played the role of Miss Hannigan in the 1982 movie version of Annie, directed by John Huston? Gosh darn it, I just can't make this thing. I, I Number seven, there's no plus or minus here. In what year was Carol King's album Tapestry released? Okay. Number eight, from 1980 to 83, this person appeared on the television series Taxi, playing the wife of Latka Gravis. And paste. Do you want the character's name or the actress's name? The actress's name. Uh, Florence Henderson played what character on the Brady Bunch? Here comes Adrian. She can go on our team. Hey, Adrian. Hello. I'm glad right. you made it. We're on, we're on the last category. Boy, you are badly needed for at least one team. Mm, two teams. For two teams. Hi, <laughs> Adrian. No, no. I'm going to jump one off, team. Susan, so you might want to no. put her in. Clear, clear oh, the team. Okay, Rob. Okay, Lori. And finally, number 10. Who was the first African-American woman elected to the United States Senate? We'll give you the uh, questions in a minute. Yeah, no worries. Adrian. And that is it. Let's go to our rooms. Very good. Uh, 
except Adrian's uh, hopefully team that is doing so so great. <laughs> it, their team name is Yay. We're a team. We're a team. Yay. Is that fun? Susan Snowdust is fun. Oh, is that your name, Susan? People are changing the names to elf names. Ah. Yay, Susan. Hi, guys. Hi. Okay, so you guys are the winners. So I just, so far, I can just sit here and just relax, except that you're in a very close, it's very close uh, team ones right behind you. If you know some, though, you're welcome to chime in. Yeah, it's obviously Carol's. Yeah, I mean. So who wrote Alice in Wonderland? That was Carol. His name was. Um, Lewis Carroll. Yeah, Lewis Carroll. Oh, it's my screen. Oh, oh I see your screen up there. Yeah, okay, never mind. Okay. Uh, who wrote the song with Oh, Carol, I Am But a Fool? No idea. I was going to guess Neil Sedaka, but I really don't know. Robin says she doesn't have powers. Hold on. I got to leave the room to give her powers. I think she has them, though. Hold on. Hmm. I gave you powers. I. How do I do that? What do I do? You've got powers. Let's see. Oh, oh, okay. I can join. Okay. I'm going to try joining number one. Okay. okay. You are right. Okay. Four. Sadaka. Sadaka. No, I'm sorry. Oh. An A. Yeah. Sadaka. Oh, who okay. wrote uh, the song? Wait, uh, oh, Neil Sadaka. I'm guessing. I don't know. Neil Do Diamond. Know? Neil Sadaka. Ooh, Neil Diamond, prolific pop singer, pop writer. Too. Um, yeah. There's also the um, Simon and Garfunkel people. But it's a a person who wrote. Yeah. And Simon and Garfunkel didn't write a lot of songs for other. Yeah, it's people. like a pop song, like a love song. Maybe uh maybe Neil Diamond. Do you know this song? I don't. I've I never don't. heard the song. Oh Carol, oh Carol, I am but a fool. No. Oh Carol, I am. But I would. Fool. I would guess it's like from the late fifties, early sixties. Bird, Bird Ives. There you go. Gene Autry and Burl Ives. Yeah, that's it. Okay, who started the TV version? So everything's going to be Carol. Right. I'm going to guess. already in the question. I'm going to guess Carol O'Connor. And you that's would what, be correct. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That one of these answers is going to be Carol O'Connor. Yes. And Dolly Lee Levy was, uh, wasn't that Carol Channing? <coughs> I say hello. Correct, Mundo. Dolly. Yes, hello. That was such a sweet movie. Dolly. But but for her, it was, well, hello, Dolly. <laughs> you do it's that really so well. nice to have you back where you, you belong. You belong. You're, You're looking swell. swell. Who would have Dolly. thought she would have been so good at that? Okay. Um, CEO of Big Cat Rescue. No idea. Uh, Carol. Good. Carol. Could be a last name, Carol. It could be. It's either so it's blank Carol or Carol blank. Mm -hmm. No idea. Yeah. Carol Carol. Yeah. Carol Carolson. She was probably just trying to find something to fit. It's Carol there. Carolson. I don't know. Okay, who played Miss Hannigan? Hannigan, another yes. Carol. Yes, that would be a comedic actress that you all know and love. She had a TV show for many Carol years. Carol Bur Burnett? Burnett? Carol Burnett? Burnett, yes. really? Yes. I, I do not that. remember these actors. Well, who is Miss Hannigan? Was she like- I, I don't know how to spell Burnett. He, Secretary? Burnett, no E on the end. Uh, Carol Burnett uh, was a wonderful comedian. She had a show in the 60s. Oh, oh yeah. She was great. Oh, and, I know who Carol Burnett is. And she uh, played Miss Hannigan, who runs the orphanage in Annie. Oh, yeah. Wait, did Jeff no, not like know I, who Carol Burnett is? I know who Carol Burnett is. I just she can't tell her. her ear. Ah. I'm not always good with names. Oh, okay. Just check. Or, or spelling. Spelling you is You need to know who Carol Burnett is. She's amazing. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I, I pay attention to a lot of comedy. We were going to make so you Carol go Burnett and watch Carol Burnett stuff different. after this and report back on with the Carol Burnett's category. Uh, what, Carol? Think number seven is 1971. That is uh, correct. 1971. I have no idea. Number eight, Carol. 
she has dark circles. She she has like she's got like a very nasal voice and the dark circles and big eyes. Comedian Carol Kane. Don't know her. I didn't watch oh, Taxi the Mentor. Carol Kane with a K. Yeah, I, that makes sense. Florence Henderson played what character? She was the the person. Florence Henderson, the, the maid. Yeah, she's the housekeeper. Oh, no, she was not. She was the mother. Oh, oh, she was the mother. That's right. Oh. Carol Brady. You I mean, got it. Oh, my God. I can't believe I remember any of that. Okay. Alice. Alice was the housekeeper. Alice. Yeah, right. 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 Karen, you are so good at this. Well, I, I sucked at the previous. I only had one or two of the other categories. Well, that's why we have teams. Mm -hmm. Who is the first African-American woman elected to the... I almost said she's black and she had, I almost said that because I'm picturing her in my mind. She's a thin woman, very thin. She's from, was she from New York or Massachusetts? I'm guessing that it's Carol, mostly Braun. That sounds familiar. It was the second, it was a hyphenated name. B-R-A-H-N or B-R-A-U-N? Braun. Yeah, she's a thin woman, right? Or a, it might be a oh. U pronounced brawn or brown. Karen, can That's you suggest? Carol, soon. Carol? That's I mean, oh, Carol. Wait, number five. Number five. Carol, Carol. Carol Kitty Cat. Carol King. But Karen, am I right? Do you picture this woman, the yeah, number 10? her at all. She's a sure, thin whatever. woman with glasses. Big no, that's glasses. Shirley, okay, wait. Shirley Chisholm. You're thinking of Shirley Chisholm. Oh, I last no uh, from final answer at number two. Which Neil do we like better? Sadaka. Okay, Sadaka it is. Because I, I have no opinion, and Sadaka was the first thing that came out of Karen's mouth. So I am Let's fine go with Karen. Yeah. Just going Good job, me. team. I'm totally guessing. You guys are kicking ass off. over here. I think it's the only African American senator I know of. Mm. Uh, Bela Fleck concert. I got to look up what his name is. Bela Fleck. Well, was that was that Edgar Meyer? Was he yes. A, yes. What one of the Fleck two? Like, yes. Yes. Edgar Ed, Meyer. Edgar Meyer is incredible. Uh, it was unbelievable into your guys's conversations like, i i oh, i was floored he you know no he's he is an absolute absolute incredible yeah, i heard him, i saw him live here year i said quite a few years ago with yeah. not bella fleck but with um uh i forgot who the other guy was who was also playing they were playing they were touring with mandolin and he's one of these guys you know i was sitting at, it was not a very big hall but i was sitting at the back and you know he he looks like milk when he plays and you never see his fingers move but you hear a million notes yeah. And, oh no, he's uh he Amazing. was like a, a, a MacArthur guy. You know, he's he yeah. writes stuff. He plays. He's like he's like a Yo Yo Ma. He right. He plays yeah. in all kinds of different genres. He's absolutely incredible. Yo Yo Ma of the bass. Have you ever heard of Missy Rains? Do you know who Missy Rains is? No. She's also amazing, but a little more bluegrassy, but extraordinary. Yeah. Um, hey, Robin, roll back. Okay, so are we ready for our answers? I think that you probably are. That was probably fun. already know all the answers now so no, 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 no. Oh, so the okay. christmas connection is carols yeah that was fun <laughs> <laughs> so number what one carols Lewis Carol. huh what did carols have to do with christmas oh, <laughs> uh number one lewis carol number two neil sadaka Woo! Yay. Woo! we were going back and forth oh, okay. Neil diamond number three carol o'connor yeah Number four, Carol Channing. Mm -hmm. Number five, Carol uh, Baskin. Carol Baskin. Wait a minute. I, I think we had a different answer. Fucking Carol Baskin is what we had. <laughs> Fucking Carol Baskin. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay, that's because you Baskin. don't watch TV, you ignorant sluts. You are my junior. Oh, you is, watch is it this, when you're talking to your elder. nemesis to the Tiger King. Oh. Is this Tiger King? Yeah. Yes. Also yeah. famous from Dancing with the Stars. Oh, no. really? <laughs> yeah, she I was on it. I actually her before Tiger King because I have a friend that donates to Big Cat Rescue. I never heard of her until uh, she was on Dancing with the Stars. Never heard and of her. This is the first I've heard her. 
And every uh -huh. time it was like the, the, the uh, customers were trying to make fun of her. Every single outfit looked like a tiger and they were horrible. <laughs> She's known for that. She's known for her clothing decisions. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh. Is, is there a reason anyone believes that this is real and it isn't just done for publicity? Wait, is it? Well, the guy's in jail. No, he's so. in jail. He yeah. didn't do it for publicity. Well, well I don't no, know. It's, about a, the, it's the same. about the clothes and stuff. It's yeah. the same people that believe that wrestling is for real. I wrestling. think she got paid good money for that. So I don't know. I might have done it too. Wrestling is scripted and real. If you're willing to yes. go to prison to be able to make the kind of money they made, just think about that. Yeah. Well, just ask inmate like a job. 532 <laughs> oh, I didn't make any money. All I did was try to put out a fire with a fire extinguisher, and they thought I was throwing it at a cop. Damn it. Uh-huh. And he threw a shield, too. All right, number six. Number six is Carol Burnett. Yay! Yay! Jeff almost didn't know who she was. I'm telling you. No, I just oh. didn't know how to spell her name. <laughs> sure. Um, uh, the Carol King's Tapestry was 1971. Yes. Yay! Woo! Yay, Kevin. Yay, Deborah. Um, number, eight. Karen. Number, number eight is Carol Kane. Yay. Number nine is Carol Brady. Yay. <laughs> Yay. And Carol Mosley Braun. Yay! Yay! Karen, woohoo! Wish I want to know: Was she a thin woman with big glasses, like oversized glasses? No, that's no. Really she was a little. She uh, she was a little zaftic, uh, and she if she hadn't been such a star, she, she could have been running for president. But she she was our Illinois one of our Illinois senators. Oh, Illinois! Yeah. See, I yeah, thought Illinois. it was somebody from New York or Massachusetts. That's I'm, surely I'm definitely thinking of the wrong person. Please don't put us in the same category, New York and Mass. <laughs> There's a Red Sox Yankee thing on. That's oh, pretty sorry. You're def you're you're definitely, I think you have to translate in the same category. I think you have to translate that where the weather sucks. That Canadian word you use, Zoftik, because a lot of people might not know what that means. <laughs> that's a Canadian term. <laughs> I thought it was a Jewish term. Or that, it is. Canadian, yeah. a Canadian, a Canadian Jew. Okay, let me, let me get over to the. Hold on, I, well, I know what Zoftik means, and I'm neither Jewish nor <laughs> Canadian. I'm just Zoftik. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why or I know famous, what it means. It's the better than being Canadian Jewish wine. <laughs> I want to go to Miami. Yeah. I thought that was a New York oh, Jewish God. wine. <laughs> it's that too. <laughs> and a Boston Jewish wine. Yep, it's that too. I okay. want to go to Miami. New, New York Boston and Boston Jewish are basically the same. Hey, do you already put the answers in here somewhere? Except if you so, live I mean, there. I'll, I'll, I'll type different. them in. Yeah, because I got to put them on my. Okay. Number one. <laughs> Number two. Number three. Number Actually, I'm going to. You can do that while I get the scores. Okay, so let's go over to. Scores. I think we're going to be in last place again. So. Hey, I, I gave you Adrian. Extra points for consistency. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Of course, did they Caspian don't. Caspian never come back. Caspian didn't come back. Where the hell did they go? They said they might not come back. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, last, time, good. Wait, last time we did this, all... when somebody came in late, you made them wait for the scores to decide what team they went on. No, because she came in right at the beginning of the category, right when they're reading the answers. The answers were all Carol. Everyone should have That's what happened last time. No. No, no. no Nilsa I wasn't going to make Carol. her wait until after the category was over. Oh, no, I'm going to I'm gonna play the tape from last week. I'm pretty she sure that's was, what you did. We were no, I've never seen that happen. We'll wait. No. Because we're otherwise she's coming in right now. You can get a participation ribbon. Okay, so we're going to see how we are a team. Yay, did. We got seven. There you go. Seven's good. Very good. All right. So a dearth of nerds. Ten. ten. Oh, ten. Okay. Um, Yay. Congratulations. Good job. Anti-Semitic. Ten. Oh. Karen, where's your yay now? I don't get a yay. He's yay. tired. Okay, Rudolph's Red Nose Super Spreader event. Ten. Uh, okay. Dirk. Do we hold on to do the does the better than Jesus team hang on to their lead? Three. <laughs> Nine. 
Whoa! Getting close. One point. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we got last place again. Wow. <laughs> oh. I'm so just weird. So just is happy about it. it today. He's he's so happy. <laughs> you know. No, well, <laughs> yeah. So you, We've <laughs> all been in the bottom once or twice. Yeah. Is that song always look at the bright side of life? Oh, well. Oh. Yeah, the we'll eventually be on a winning team. Eventually. Okay, so I need to remove. They're playing that long. They're playing by golf rules. <laughs> no, we never play with golf rules. Mm. Very well. Okay. All right. We are ready in the, the final stretch, and it's up to Deborah to make it happen. Hopefully, it's not all tens or all zeros. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Spread. I want to spread. It's only 12:30 a.m. Why why are we so fast tonight? Because <laughs> <laughs> we're very hot. Well. Or you're being well, suspicious. We're very we should slow down. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to work tomorrow. It's the fastest ever. <laughs> I know. Hi, Deborah, you're up. Okay. So, this category is called native metals. And a native metal is any metal that is found pure in its metallic form in nature. Metals that can be found in uh, native deposits singly or in alloys. And there are 42 of them. This is according to Wikipedia. There are 42 of these. Um, your job is to, to, to uh, name 10 of them. And we're going to do this by mono rule. Oh! Oh, mono rule. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. So go to your rooms. They come up with ten that you don't think. You said there's forty-two. There are forty-two, which is a magic number. Forty-two. Yeah. Wow. Like, that's question cool. answer, like universe, universe and everything. They're just turned out that way. Mm, um, sure it did. Yeah. No, it did. <laughs> well, actually, I'll tell you something funny about that when we're done. But yeah. All right. Any so, questions? Yes. Any so questions? any questions before I send everybody to their rooms? Okay. God. Nope. All right. Thank you, James. Off you go. Okay. Who do I get to play with today? Oh, Susan's here. Oh, we got the prisoner. I can't talk about Susan now. I oh, am not a number. So interesting. Everything I am a free you. man. <laughs> we still haven't done a prisoner category. I thought we did. Okay, so did I, I've never had I no, it would it would be myself or, or Caspian that would write it. So oh. okay. I have no idea. It doesn't matter. We're nine points behind. <laughs> and it's mono rule. So like okay, it's not we'll like we're metals. gonna get 10 and no one's gonna get a point. So, so now well. I'm trying to think of like metals or minerals, <laughs> metals that uh that I think you should name the 10 something. most common ones. Well, we've got, you know, there's gold, silver, copper, for sure. Frankincense, myrrh. Yeah. Now, aluminium, as the Brits say. Aluminium. Is that considered also a native metal? Nickel? I don't know what a native metal is found. compared to an unnative metal. Like you can find it in pockets. She so I don't think she... it, it, it's not created by human intervention. So like iron is two I different guess. things together? That's well, like tin, tin, tin would. Uh, tin, no, yeah. iron might be bronze okay. Steel be, is different things is, together. Bronze well, would not be made of metal. I don't know uh, if you find pure iron. You find iron oxide. Maybe you find yeah. pure iron. How like about bronze copper? is a mixture of a uh, uh, tin and copper, so that would not be a native metal. Is copper right. a mix? Copper. I think copper is, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. You can find pure copper. Yeah. Okay, let me write, start writing things down here. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah, blank thing. It's so copper. Oh, there's something. So copper. Oh, you're being all fancy. Gold. Oh, no, don't write it like that. Nobody will know what that is. Oh, that's the only one we know because it starts, you know. Silver. Aluminum. Aluminum. I don't nickel. know. Aluminum. How about nickel? Aluminum. Well, that, that, well, that one I, I would put in a question mark then, but I it is found natively. It's just hard to get because it's mixed with other things. Yeah, but it's not it's bauxite. not manufactured to be aluminum yeah bauxite is the most common. oh i gotta put robin i gotta put um, what did you call it bauxite bauxite is aluminum or where is she 
Let's do that. Yeah. Bauxite. I mean, well, that's, um, that's not in, that's what about uh, mercury? Wait, wait a minute. Bob's saying something. What? Bauxite is the ore that they process to make pure aluminum. The question is, but we're, we're not going with the ore, but the final product. I thought. Right. I'm metal. saying. No, no. But you said processed. I'll this be right would be back. before you process it. Okay. I need to go into a, a room. mostly be it would be yeah. mostly iron you oxide find iron yeah. oxide but i suppose you can find your iron in certain conditions. i think the way this is going is the actual metals like you would see it in the periodic table of elements yeah yeah no it would have then why didn't she say that that's what's confusing well, she didn't okay, say elements. so pewter like pewter and bronze would not be in here because they're a mixture of two other metals right uh lead so put lead on there yeah, that's... lead probably. Oh, uh, uranium. Is that? I don't know. Is that, that a metal? Is. I guess. Uh, Uranium's not a metal. We got to go forty-two of them, so we can't do just be... the things we commonly think of. How many metals? Okay, are well, one of the one of the ones that I remember that's really weird, but it's really pretty is bismuth. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe no one that? else will say that. Bismuth. <laughs> Is uranium a metal? It's an element. She said metals. I know, but the, well, so do you think there are 42 metals that you know that don't include things like uranium? I, I don't know for sure, but. Um, mercury? Yeah. <clears throat> Gallium. What? What's that? It's a, it melts like in oh, your yeah. Hand. It's got a very yeah, low of mercury. Yeah. yeah. Uh, kind of a, a room tin? temperature. I think tin is yeah. two different things, isn't it? No, it's, a, said, it's, a, it's an element. Tin? SN. Okay, yeah. The, the atomic symbol is SN for tin. Mm -hmm. It's on the chart. In other words, there are things on the periodic. Oh God, chart. I'm kicking myself. I, I had something manufactured for a spacecraft that was out of this really toxic, poisonous metal. That like we had to do it because of some reason I don't remember now. Yeah, thanks for figuring please. out, Robin. Uh, Deborah, she texted me and I'm like, uh, she says I'm supposed see. to be. Ber in room oh, four. I got beryllium. I She's in room four. I'm like, I don't know how beryllium. Yeah, beryllium. I can't see the question. So she said something about alloys. What? No. What? What? Do you, no, sprinkles. She didn't say anything about alloys. Yeah. Sprinkles, you didn't actually put the description anywhere, did you, of what we're doing here? Deborah, what did you it. say about alloys in your question? Alloys are included, uh, there are any included as long as they're found in their metallic form in nature. Oh, that means. So okay. alloys are, are fine as long as they're already alloys when you find them. Well, then I'm going to say platinum. Platinum, that's not, a, that's not an element? I didn't know that. No, that's an element. Well, there's also there's an alloy of it, but I don't know if it's found in nature, yeah. palladium. This was um, a couple months ago electrum is a naturally occurring alloy of silver and gold what is it called what is it called electrum um, and uh Jamie, the thing after Jamie's, platinum is uh p-a-l-l-a -L -L -A. palladium palladium yeah two l's yeah but yeah his remember there jamie did the thing about coins Ancient yeah. coins. Yeah, yeah. Before they were minting coins, they used electrum, which is a naturally occurring alloy of gold and silver. Okay. If it's naturally occurring, then yeah, I would put that. Okay, in. so all right, let's start narrowing this down since we got to do Mano's rules and we only can put ten, so we got a hell of a lot here. So, so let's you don't put want to do gold, copper, or silver. Right. So, I think we should because I think that people won't pick them because. Oh no! The uh, ex the uh, the uh, the opposite logic. I think so. Oh, fuck. 
could be. Because you know these other people, they're going to come up with 10 bizarre things. Prison has changed. Because they're going to want to show how smart they are. So they're going to come up with really outrageous stuff. Oh my God, you might be right. Cause I remember nobody put, nobody put like Richard Saunders because except one person did and they got it. Yay, <laughs> our team did. Uh, <laughs> we, did we did Saunders and uh, Susan. Susan, yeah, see, yeah. So Susan might be right. Except now that everyone saw that happen and they might. <laughs> okay, how over. many? Oh my how God, many are there? I don't overthink it. How many are there now? There's 42 and possible. We need to get it. No, how many are on our list right now? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 we have. We have to get rid of six? Yep. Get rid of the most complicated ones. I think the better ones. I, I, I got to get rid of the I most complicated ones. Talk to my show for a minute. Antimony. Antimony? Is that yeah. a mineral? Because I, yeah, it's, it's unusual. Yeah. Uh, when I think of antimony, I'm thinking of arsenic too. Yeah, I think that's a metal too. Okay, what are we doing? I'd rather have them than uh, gold and silver. Einsteinism. What are we doing? What are we doing? We I were just that we should leave all of the top easy ones that are obvious. Oh God. So those we're leaving those for sure. The top. Uh, add One, mercury. Two, three, four, don't, five, six, seven. Don't listen to Susan. Remember what her team did last week. Oh my God, that's true. <laughs> so, um, poor, Ro poor, poor Robert. Robert. Away, Palmer. Well, you, were away, you, should um, stay, you should just stay Bob inside. Bob and I were discussing uh, antimony and arsenic as possibilities. Rob, you're going to have a lot of time to be able to sit and think about this in prison. That's true. Arsenic and what? What was the what? What the hell is that? Antimony. Antimony. Okay. Well, so, so, so I would say if we have really, really weird ones that they're not going to think of the same weird ones. So, of course they will. Do you not know who we're playing? No, but there's 40 of them. So that's that's a lot. No, so, they're going to come up with some pretty freaking weird right. stuff. But, so let, let me at least list the ones that I think are the most odd that I don't think anyone's going to come up with. Yeah. I, I would put 10 up here. Um, palladium and I never heard of these. So just off of that, I'm going to say those. Uh, arsenic is a metal. Yeah. Arsenic's not a metal. Yeah, it is. Oh, come All on. right, we got a vote for that. It's a metal, and someone thinks it's a metal. Antimon, never heard of this. So, like, I, like, so I like all these because I wouldn't have ever thought of those. Well, no, beryllium I thought of because that's the one I added. Yeah. That's only because <laughs> because I, I manufactured something for a spacecraft out of it a long okay, time. Okay, so ago. how many of the unusual Your ones? Bare hands. Huh? No, not my bare hands. No, people had to use like uh, you know hazmat suits to do it. Is it because you unusual... grind it? It's really poisonous. Yeah. What? Oh, what, what? How many of the unusual ones do we have? And then we could add some of the more. Well, I don't know. Ones. Where does platinum? That's that's not unusual. So, all right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we got ten. Ten of the probably everyone knows those names. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of ones that probably people aren't going to think of. I'm, and I'm not sure you, about uranium. A smart group, they're going to have it. They're not going to pick these. Columns. Yeah, uranium. I'm not. Yeah, he, as Bob was saying, maybe we could replace. That'll be one of the things we could replace with. Let's see. I mean, I want to go with the ones that are weird. At least, at least these. Let's say no, because really, you I, want to look like you know something, and I. No, I do. I want. It. I just want to get a reasonable score because I'm tired of getting three and four for this game. <laughs> Yeah, because everyone's good. Do you want to add gold to that? Because are you thinking no one's going to pick gold? Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm not adding anything. Well, right now, it's we're splitting two pieces. We got the, the obvious ones. So I'm in prove. favor of the bottom half. And we got the nine. What? I'm taking a picture of this stupid thing. What did you say, Paula? I'm in favor of the bottom half. And then you're breaking up. That. You're breaking up, Paula. Paula, it's breaking up. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. I'm in favor of the bottom highlighted ones, and then we could add to that. One. That's what I think, but Susan doesn't like it. But I'm just a guest here, so you guys do what you yeah, want. Yeah, Your true. score. What do you think, Bob? You, if you want to remain in the low score, that's. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, I, it's, I can't. It's too small, but yeah, okay. What? I can't, it's, I can't see it. It's too small. It's on my phone. It's there you go. How do you see it now? Um, you guys about done? 
No. No. We're arguing. Yeah, we're just a, we've got it. We've got a big list. We're just trying to pare it down. Is everyone else done? Um. Well, well okay, if yeah, one group it those. is, I don't know if anybody else is. But. All right. It's, it's, it's because you're using mono rules that everybody's arguing. Yes. I otherwise, know, you'd be I love done. it. I love it too. <laughs> <laughs> we have to Great. give us more time for mono rules. <laughs> well, so I I favor I with uh, Rob favor the bottom list. And how do you feel about adding? Aluminum to that. Aluminium. Aluminium. One L. No, that doesn't look right. One, one L. L. Yeah. Aluminum. So aluminum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to move this to the top since that's what's the one we're doing. It's got a few things. Okay. So at the top, one, two, three, four, five. Hey, we have eight. We need two from the bottom list. I want to so, take two obvious ones to go with the Susan things that no one's going to say I copper kind of like gold. gold. Yeah, because it's so damn obvious. And maybe silver too. Why not? Yeah, I have, it's hard to predict because, uh, you know, we're not psychic and we can't predict what everyone else is going to do. If only we had psychics. <laughs> like, it would be really easy to get psychic. There are so many of them in the world. Yeah. <laughs> heard them all, all in Australia, I understand. One, two, three. I'm going to yeah. go call everybody back. Okay, so we got we got 10. So that's our list. Okay. I'm going to put them in some sort of alphabetical Wait, I wanna, order. I want to take a picture of it. Yeah, I'm trying to put them in a little bit of alphabetical order. At least the A's and the B's. Why? And the B's. Oh, you OCD person. Yeah, yeah. I, I am. All right. <laughs> X, E, A, B, C, D, E. Okay. E, M, and E, G. I'm going to pick your S. Okay, so that's pretty gold. much. Gold. You forgot to put gold. Where's my gold? There's my gold. Under uh, gallium. Gallium gold. So that's 10, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. All right. So everyone else take a picture with your phone. That's our list. Is this the final list? That's the final list. The top it's 10 under Mercury. There. No, that's not the list. These are oh, the list. Top I want to see the stuff under there because I want to see what I would have picked. No, do it like like make the spaces so that they're not so I can what? get one picture. I want to get in one picture. Okay, there now. <laughs> I, I'm doing five things a while. I did two screenshots. It's going to work. Got 30 seconds. Okay. okay, Susan. Good job, team. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Damn, Mono for inventing these rules. Hope is. That's a good idea, too. And, and it, when you're doing it, like if you have a regular category, it really helps to have two screens. So if you have a, a if you have a, like a laptop and then a monitor that you can hook up to it mm. as a second monitor. Yes. It makes it a lot easier because you can put stuff on both screens. For what sprinkles? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that I want to. I've got a. I've got a, a category. I've, made, I've got, pretty much got the questions. I'm just worried about the logistics part of the. Find, thing. find someone so. who's not playing that week and have them test it for you. Yeah, well, it, I'll get somebody. I'll, I'll 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 get some friends to listen to the questions. There you go. But I, I, I usually run my by the guys at work, and when they know them. I know that you guys will know. Yeah, them. but he's not worried about that. He's worried about actually putting them in the chat and doing yeah, all that. It's that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, exactly. I think, but I think what I'll do is I'll get I'll just like, uh, I'll yeah. just get on you uh, to uh, like Deborah to, was saying. If with multiple Wait. screens, you can just copy from one and move your mouse right over to the other. But just one go out and, and get another computer. It's okay, Alan. Yeah, yeah. Alan, go get a yeah. new. Yeah, just just get type really fast. I well, write everything computer. down and type really fast. No, I'm not sure why, why there's a problem. I only have one screen and, and I do, I do the same thing. I have a window wall. Yeah, but you're, you're really screen. good with computers in mate number four, three. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's, that's it's true. Really you know how to make uh, Bob, Bob, I sent you a question in the chat. I have a chicken question. Oh my goodness. Okay. Pretty, what are you up I'm to? Sorry. Huh? Well, don't you think we all want to know about chickens too? Okay, maybe you all want to know, but we're know. getting ready, ready for record low temperatures <laughs> here, and I'm worried about what how the chickens will do. It's been raining so much in LA right now. I can't... <laughs> Look out behind you, Tiny. Yeah, okay. she comes. Is she divining for what? Was, she's divining for water or whatever it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't... <laughs> it, it, uh, the robe uh, reminds them of Game of Thrones, so they needed a sword. So that's a makeshift sword. Mm. I, think, I, think, I, I, I was getting a lot of a uh, Sith Lord vibe. Yeah, that's what yeah, I was getting. That, that yeah, it's a cheap well, lightsaber welded is. by a Sith Lord. Besides, we have to wait a while for the Game of Thrones. Richard, 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 Richard where it's at right now. <laughs> Did everyone see Andy Weir's analysis of the Force? Yeah, that was cool. Yes. No. That was Thanks to Rob. 
All right, we back, Deborah. This is going to okay. be fun. How do you want to okay. do this? I know this is this is going to be interesting. I guess. Um, let me see. Did you do you um, always let you our, left um, the lowest? Do you want to go with the lowest? And everyone has to or? say if they've got it. Yeah, hold on. Let me let me pull up these things on my screen here because I am doing this with one monitor this time. And I want to get the list of all the things, and then I want to get the names of the people things. Okay, so here's you so, just you, you read them off. You read a you read a, an element, and you say, "Did anyone?" Yeah. Okay. Test this. All right. Yeah. I'll probably okay. be quickest. So I'm going to just read them alphabetically because that's how I have them listed here. <laughs> Rob will be happy about that. See, it made sense. So I thought we're going to go team by team. And when Dude. the team lists what they yeah. have, the other team say that, oh, we already have that. I we think that's that. that, that, oh, But there's yeah. 42, Paula. That's but, why it's a little different. But, but still, when you go down each team. I'll do it either way. Less. I don't or care. Third. I think team by team makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you let's gonna start with, with team. So that's the only thing you want. Should I, we do because I don't know the level of the scores. I just I think, let me show them to you guys. Start with the highest place yeah. to see if they. Yeah. yeah okay. But then so he's going to list all sorts lowest. of stuff that isn't even lowest. a medal. Lowest. 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 Yeah. Well, Deborah, well, that would be. Well, hang on. Um, we are Team and... Yay, and then followed by, um, it's team, the and... Dirk of Nerds, and then okay. it'll go with. Um, Santa's anti-semantic. Yep. I know what, since I, since I can't get all that stuff on my screen. At one if time, you ever can't see it, then I guess you have to read them out. No, okay. if, no, yeah. I can, so everybody you, remember. Pick a team at random. I'll tell you which team is going next. Yeah, so you go ahead and do the team. team. Is we are a team, yay. So list your 10 and if and go slowly. So if anybody else says they have that same one, then or if Deborah says the, that's not a right answer. Or if I say it's right. not a right answer. Or Deborah will say it's right. not a right answer. So right. first right. we should do, Read it, read one at a time. Deborah will tell you if it's on the list. Read yeah, that's first. a good that's a good way to do it. Okay, so Annie Elfman. All right, are we ready? No. Copper. Uh that is on the list. Anybody else? Anyone else guess copper? <sighs> There's my Nobody else had copper. Names. Nobody had copper. Well, we, we took we took it off our oh we took it off our list. Why well, do we do good. that now? Because well, it's wouldn't... really common. Yeah, in, I wonder why. All right, what's the next it's one? It's the same have? reason South Africa. Oh, did no one have that then? You got a point. You got a point. Got point. Got all right, it's way too many people are talking. <laughs> so that was a no. Okay, no. All right, aluminum. We got it. Okay, that's on the list too. Anybody like, else? Say if it's on the list. It doesn't we matter. We got it. So, one. Cross it off. Two, two people, <laughs> it's off. Yep. I didn't hear two people. I heard two people from the same team. No, so, they weren't from the same I, team. I'm gonna no, Rob, I'm on your since, team. I'm gonna That's what I said. Since I, I heard wrong is the same as it not being on the list, then we just do that first. And if somebody else got it, it's already off. We've already we're started. We're going to be here all night. No, 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 like we're no, and only we're one going, we're going to be here all night. Okay, so wait, wait, only okay. one person per team record, speaks for the team. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and really, we should just be listening to the person of the team we're talking about first, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, so next one. So other people Wait, have aluminum. So go back to aluminum. I'm confused. Did more than one team have that? Yes. It, does, it doesn't matter. Any team. Someone that has yells it, out they don't that they have it. Well, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's only one team. Then you get a point. We're talking about the. No, matter. someone no. else had it. So it's that's not that. This is my question. Did anyone else have it? I was. Yes. yes. Well, Somebody yes. yelled out. Yes, Rob. Our team yes. did, Rob. The team. <laughs> Okay, cobalt. Yes, we got it. Nickel. We had nickel, didn't we? Yeah, we have nickel. Okay. Bronze. Not a metal. Not a metal. Bronze uh, it's is on an the alloy. List. It, alloy. It yeah. What? Bronze is not a metal. What? According to a well, it's a metal, but yeah, 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 uh, tin and tin and uh, Copper. Deborah's list. Deborah's list. I knew this was going to be a problem. Move. Yeah, is it on? Is it on Deborah's list? It's, yes, it is. No, it's what? not. You're looking at the Native Metal Wikipedia article. Yes. Yeah, so that has a separate section among the alloys found in nature. Well, yeah, but that the, I she, was she did say alloy. that. 
She said alloys, not, including alloys. But she did but include it's a that. metal. Is any metal found? No, she was very clear that it included alloys. Yeah. 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 What? She I was not clear on that at all. But she did pop into her, her room and said that. Well, no, I, I heard her say that. She I said, said it at the, the beginning, and yeah. I repeated it to and people who asked me. Alloys. Continue, Tiny. Okay. Anyway, I know it's an alloy, but I didn't know it appeared in the nature. I, I didn't either. I didn't know any of this stuff. You guys are making this too okay. complicated. Oh, so then the question is, if it's on the list, and if no one did, anyone else have it? They got a point. Yeah. Is kryptonite one? <laughs> <laughs> Mercury. He had it. <laughs> okay. Zinc. We had it. Selenium. Are you spelling that? What is it? Selenium. No. Or oh. selenium. It's, it's selenium. It's two E's. Selenium. Well, do you have it? Not how is it pronounced? Yes. <laughs> so was Nobody that has it. So they Nobody get a point. It. Good. Got is it. it on the list, Sprinkles? Yes, it is on the list. They get a point. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to keep that name. <laughs> Just be aware it's a stripper name. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, is it, I'm not sure how to pronounce this one. Rhenium? Is that how you say that? How are you spelling it? R H E N I U M. Yeah, we have it. Ah. Ah, that's the platinum. Yeah, we have it. Ah. All right. I'm sorry, I didn't get the last one. What was it? Platinum? Platinum. Okay, yeah, we had that one too. Okay, and that's our 10. Okay. So you How got three points? That? I think, yeah, I think we got three. Okay. That might be a very good score. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> might be. For these modern rules. When hey, Susan, you, who's next? It brings you to 24. Okay, so the team is next is a dearth of nerds. Oh, joy. Should I read them? Yo. Yeah, the first one was already taken off, the aluminum. Yep. All right, so I, I already struck ones off my list. So the ones left are arsenic. Yep. Yeah, the, we got we it. Have that. Have that. Uh, bastards. Uh, antimony. Antimony. Yeah, we got it. Yep. Uh, beryllium. Uh, no, nope. no beryllium. Beryllium, beryllium isn't on the list. Oh my God! How oh. is beryllium not on the list? What's his first reactive? Doesn't show up in nature. How will you make the beryllium sphere? Wow. I don't know. By refining the beryllium. Yeah. Oh, bismuth. Yes. We yeah. got it. That is. Electrum. The hell is electrum? It's an alloy. The alloy of gold and silver. Oh, so it is it is good. Okay. It's on the list. It's on the list. Yay. And nobody got it. We got one point. Amazing. Yay, got a point. Yay, Gally team. Gallium. Uh, gallium is not on the list. Yeah. Gold. And nobody picked gold? Really? Ooh. Yay! Ah, Yay, Susan. Ballsy for picking gold. And, and along with uh, gold, what goes to Christmas? Silver and gold. Nobody silver, got silver, silver really? Cha-ching! Yes. Cha-ching! <laughs> I told Peggy, them, they, Peggy, they did exactly what you said they would do. Everybody was so worried about it that they took it off the list. Yeah. I and told them, take the so most we, common we did a mess. Rob, you didn't say palladium. No, uh, we well, I'm not finished. Palladium. Okay. Yeah, the last one. Palladium? They, you, had, you had palladium? We had palladium. Of course uh, they have palladium. What do you mean, <laughs> of course they have palladium? <laughs> of course they did. Of course they did. You okay, we got the three too. We got three as well then. So we got it. We got a mix. We got the two obvious ones and the electrum, which I never heard of. Okay, next team. The next team up is going to be uh, Santa is anti-Semitic. <laughs> All right. So I'm sorry if I didn't cross one out. We have lithium. No uh, shout out. Lithium is not, not on the list. No, not, not on the list. list. Oh, maybe shut out. Too reactive. How about op optanium? <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's going to be on the list next. How about tungsten? Uh, okay, that one's okay. Anybody? We're good. Hallelujah. Illuminating. Titanium. We debated this one. Is it on the list? It's on the list. And nobody has it? 
No, nope, he has it. Good. Guess not. Sweet. How about lead? Nobody picked lead. We're good. Is lead on the list? Lead is on oh. the list. How about plutonium? Plutonium does not, not occur in nature. Occurring. Plutonium yeah, is not on the list. <laughs> I have to leave, Gretchen. so goodbye, oh, everybody. Bye, Dad. Good oh, night. Good take care. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Christmas. Yeah. And Enjoy finally, we have one? sodium. Sodium can't be on the list. Sodium is not on the list. So, All right, we have, guess what, three. <laughs> Everybody's going to get three. <laughs> oh, unless another team bumps one. Yeah. So far. We have three so far. <laughs> no, they can't bump us. Oh, yeah, they can. <laughs> yeah, they can. You've got to. Oh, what? No. Right. oh, you're reading them. And everyone should have answered yes or no already. Yeah. Right. Read them all out. Cut the I thought we, have, I thought we have platinum on our list. That was already taken. Yeah, that's it's taken. taken. That's we have platinum. Okay, we're not done scoring yet. Let's continue. <laughs> yep. Okay, so next we're going to go with Rudas Radio Super Spreader event, which is almost tied. Okay, molybdenum. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy <little> Niobium. <laughs> what? Niobium. Ooh. I don't see niobium. And I don't yeah, know it is. It's on there. You're right. Ooh. Osmium. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Rhodium. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Ruthenium. Uh -huh. One. What is it? Ruthenium. No. Oh. Deborah? That's on the list. Ooh. Vanadium. Yeah, we got it. Bummer. Done. <laughs> One. Right? Two. Two. Hold on, Faith. It's okay. You got two. <laughs> Okay, so the last team that's been holding the lead all this time is better than Jesus. Let's see what you got. I hope they get zero. <laughs> we got three. Cadmium, iridium, and tin. Three? Mm -hmm. okay. If those three appear on her list. And they are. See, I told my team if we had picked and those were three, three that I wanted, them off. <laughs> we would have lost two. So so everybody, if we had everybody got the same score. Gotten the point. Please note that tin was one of ours. Ours was ten too. We were, I well, it was one of the ones I wanted to. But if you had picked it, it would have knocked them off. See, and so then we wouldn't I, have gotten it either. But yeah, the then point neither is, is if that's not, the problem. I should have picked that. So did two teams pick ten? No. Oh, we're the only if one we had picked Tim, then we would not have gotten it. But we were accused of just being all fancy, fancy, and we had some basics as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we mixed it up. So, Here's our score. Um, not bad. It was a wow. Not <laughs> um, uh, a lot of spread on the scores here. That's, that's, yeah, that's quite the spread. I'm really shocked that these two managed to. If so we had done it without. Without Mono's rules, some of the teams would have been 10, 10, 10, 10. No, oh, some of yeah. the some, some didn't, have, didn't have them. <laughs> there would have been some sevens everyone. and eights. No. no. No, there was this good really night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. It was, that was really entirely good night. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. I gave Happy Christmas. 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 Happy New Year. That some people, Happy they Christmas. weren't on Deborah's list at all. Right. That's what I mean. There would have been some seven, eights, and nines. Not no, no, tens. no, no. Because what would have happened if it wasn't mono rules, everybody would have gone with the obvious 10. That's true. That's true. So it would have changed that thought ten, process. Ten, ten, ten. It wouldn't have changed the scores either. So No. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Yep. It wouldn't be you... as much fun. It's more fun doing this because you, if, mm. if you're thinking it through, you 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 might want to pick these things so that you can, you'd like in, the, in our team's case, we couldn't win the game, but what we could have done is influence it more by knocking some of the higher scorers out. So if we had like done 10 or whatever, mm. you, you knock their scores down and it brings it to more competition. And, and well, well like, done, spring. What, they just want to screw people over, the, Susan. The top yeah, I'm, I'm, that's, that's my personality. Like, both of the top two. <laughs> I'm very competitive and I have a lot of... Uh, <laughs> Strategy. Like my Canadian defector. We knocked each other down. Alan, 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 did you say my category next week? You know what? Put me down. I'm going to call Avi. He's going to show me how to do it. And all I'm, right, I'm, Alan. Boom. I thought so. Right. Susan, am, am I down for one, Susan? I can put you down for one. I need. Okay. I'll do one, Susan. But okay. by the way, the, le the lesson from today was uh, the team was better than Jesus, who won. 
because they got 38. <laughs> and the team that had the, yeah, we're a team, yay, lost. So there you go. So I'm saying you guys pay attention to your team. <laughs> For a record, we were, night, guys. we were saying night, James Webb. Night, 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 Alan. Night, Alan. Faith, faith offered to do one. Yeah, I got Faith, Alan, and Rob. And Jeff is trying to say something. Oh, oh! I, For the I record, can ask a favor, Susan. Is the James <laughs> Webb Space Telescope. Can, can, Susan, better than can you put me on uh, early, early-ish, uh, early before Avi goes to sleep? <laughs> I'll put you on too. All right. Okay. Thanks. I, I want to do a I want to do a Rob like event at sometime next year. Okay, next year. All Billy Joel, Billy Joel all the time. No, no. Yeah, no. Billy Joel all day. No. You know, I, know Billy Joel. Joel. I need a bonus and I need another category. Nobody's going to bed until I have them. I thought of a brilliant bonus category today and Don't now you. I've forgotten it, but so I'll Adrian's try and remember it for next week if you want. Okay, Adrian's got the bonus and I need another category. What's the date for Thursday next week? 30th. Okay. I can do a category next week. I'm off uh, work next week, so I have okay, time. I'm only letting you go twice in a row because you are you haven't done a lot in a row. And, and my category was so good. And it was very fun. <laughs> it was really good. It was good. All the Carol Baskin was the best answer. I all right. Really enjoyed them all. <laughs> okay, so is that it? We got everybody? So who do you have signed up? Hmm? So who do you have signed Rob, up for that? Alan, Faith, Robin, and Adrian. Me with bonus. And Adrian is bonus. Yeah. So, and our, and our bu brilliant um, bonus that I don't remember my idea today, but I'll, I'll come remember. To It'll gonna come to me. Clear. I'm tired right now. So, yeah. And then I'll, have a, got, I'll wake up uh, tomorrow. Season two, episode 31. Oh, my goodness. Game okay. Game. I'm, I'm taking off. Merry Christmas, everybody. I don't know. Does right. that, is that apply to the people in Canada or do you do a different thing like Thanksgiving Day is different? <laughs> <laughs> Boxing Day. Christmas Day. Yeah. Christmas was last Saturday. <laughs> we have 12 days of christmas there you go 12 days <laughs> i'm gonna end this early you guys it's great okay. to see you guys good night have thank you really Susan. great whatever christmas. holiday Merry christmas, oh, everybody. Good Merry good holiday. Christmas. Well, thanks bob good. for the info feliz 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 fe